If you're listening to the car and you're on your way home, we'll be in turn your around because <laughs> we're in your house. We're in your house. Welcome to the Horror Junkies Podcast, the podcast where we discuss all things horror. I'm your host, Mike. I'm Pat. I'm Dylan. I'm Jorge. Oh, and we're back in a fake studio, a makeshift studio. I got my voice back. And now I'm sick. You virgins are in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Dylan's going to rage. He did say he was going to come back stronger. He did. He did he, promise. With a vengeance. With the oh, vengeance. No. Death wish one through four. Can I go home? You are home. You are home. Oh, we're yeah. in your house. Uh, man, Ooh. we have a weird show plan for room. you guys. Scranton Strangler is in the building. Oh my god! I saw him. Uh, isn't it Toby? That's what I think. Oh, there, there's I have, a good I have seen that theory. Band theory. That it's Toby that uh-huh. is the Scranton Strangler. We should just do a show based on Scranton Strangler theories. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that'd be so funny. Do we ready to name an episode that? No, we named an episode the Hashing Slasher. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, I named that. The Hashing Slasher. Smash slinging. It's been another week. How's everyone been? Terrible. I'm sick. <laughs> Ter- terrible. I'm not too bad. Yeah. Why is Pat always terrible? I don't know. Are you wearing a Manson shirt? What, what shirt is that? No, it's Watane. Can't, you, can't you read, Mister? I can't read that can't death. Read? I can't read that death that, metal. Does that print. say Wanton? No, it doesn't. It says Watane. Watane. It says Wanton. Um, that was really close. Pat, why are you do you terrib- not know who that band is? No, I don't. You love Behemoth, and you don't know who this band is. I need to listen to them. Yikes! Man, there's that. a lot of bands, and you, I should probably show you them. Yeah, you probably should. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about that. It's later. a date. Okay, so our live studio audience just did a blasphemous. <laughs> we don't. Who? Who? Hey, who? Shut again? up over there! It's my wife. <laughs> it's she me, just, wife. She just said a band sucks, and that's that's a false statement. Hey, my wife's what here band? too. It's my cat. Uh, Hello, kitty. So, Pat, why have you been terrible, man? What's wrong? I'm breathing. Okay. George, how are <laughs> you doing? I'm sick, and I'm mad about it. But other than that, it's been a great week. Okay. Yeah, get over because, it. Mike, we did something really fucking cool yesterday. But no, we didn't. It was cool. <laughs> it was fucking cool. You're playing the bit where it wasn't that cool. Yeah. Oh, we're, okay. We're, it's not that cool. What? what, what <laughs> you, <laughs> listen, we you're not going to tell anyone we what you did? We went to SmackDown Live, okay? Okay, that was cool. That was cool. But... But, Pat and Lou like that. But nice. we got to meet Jeff fucking Hardy, who was late, my uh, mind you. He was probably hungover. I got a That's call. What I said I was like, did we he all smell know like he got heroin or up. weed? No. Yes. He, what do you smell like? Oh, he smelled like roses. Okay. He smelled like butter. Yeah. No. Like he walked into the studio and like he he looked like hell. So that was funny. He probably smelled like a mushroom head concert. <laughs> Yeah, but we met Jeff Hardy, so if you're a wrestler fan out there and you like Jeff Hardy, we shook his hand. Especially if you're around our age and you like wrestling. Yeah. You grew up with Jeff Hardy. You grew up with Jeff Hardy. Did you enjoy the wrestling show? Yeah, I Mike, did. That See, was, so so that was, here it is. So I've been to a, an actual wrestling match many, many years ago. Back when I think they used to tape them. And because when I got there, I was like, oh, George, where's the fucking commentary? And he's like, oh, they don't do that. And I'm like. What? That's like what <laughs> I live for what? is the commentary. So I guess when they do live shows, they don't. They have the commentators there who are commentating, but you can't hear them, which I think is stupid because I and love just, just listening to the commentary. Just for your own commentating. Let me which is what you. I started doing. I started commentating to George. I was like, how much more can this man take? <laughs> yeah, we <were> like, <laughs> One of the matches lasted like 30 minutes. It was fucking wild. They were throwing pancakes. That's crazy. I'm just spoiled. I feel like. WWE shows without the commentary. It was just so awkward to watch. Dude, honestly, it was awkward. Honestly, because I've been going to so much more like indie shows that like now when I go to a WWE show, I'm just like, meh. Well, I got to go to Monday Night Raw. Yeah, you did. How was that? Um, Seth Rollins doesn't know it, but he hooked me up with tickets. <laughs> so <laughs> so basically, basically, if you're listening, Seth Rollins, thank you very much for hooking Rory up with tickets, which then hooked me up with a ticket. And then provided us with this great story. Well, I mean, like, it's super funny. Um, yes, he, yes, indeed. He was supposed to have three tickets, and then he, he hits me up at 7 o'clock. And I live 
an hour away from Jacksonville. And he says, are you here? I said, no. And he was like, well, they accidentally gave us a fourth ticket. What? What? Do you want it? So I think pants just formed on me, <laughs> and I bolted out the door. I I made land speed times getting there, but I made. I like it. the fact that and you, I walked in. I said, "Oh my god, did I miss any matches?" And the first match was Baron Corbin versus Roman Reigns. I went, <laughs> went nah, I didn't miss anything at all." <laughs> um, I don't even know what the first match was. It was uh, there was like four segments of talking. Oh my god, there's so much talking. There's barely so any wrestling. Much talking. Barely I was really wrestling. annoyed. It's like I get it. SummerSlam is next week, but like. I um, want to see some wrestling. I, I did it. enjoy Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns for the 90th time. After WWE uh, e SmackDown was done, it was a uh, 205 Live, and that was more enjoyable. Ooh, yeah. I oh, will yeah. agree that 205 I literally, was He was like, what's this? And I was like, it's little men under 205 pounds doing flips and shit. And that's literally what happened. It was and, great. And it was a fun it time. It was Hideo and Ali, and dude, they beat the fuck out of each other. That's yeah. not And then, like, the dark was match, match was Jeff Hardy and AJ Styles versus uh, Samoan Joe versus uh, Apex Predator. Or KO. Oh. Or KO. Or KO. I'm like, who the fuck is Apex well, Predator? Who's, I just called him Apex. He, said, he said, call him Apex Predator. I was like, The Samoan okay. Joe and the Apex <laughs> twins. No Samoan Joes and the Samoan Apex. Samoan Joes. Yeah, but we had a pretty fun time, but whatever. Let's get to the show. Guys, it's spooky. It's thundering. Yeah, dude, it's fucking like, it's about to downpour. It's turning George's house into Dracula's castle. <laughs> Let's go watch Unfriended Dark Web after this. It's like, it's like. No, we have to go see, uh, tomorrow we have to go see. Uh, the Meg. No. <laughs> no, it is Man. the Meg. We do, we Slender do. Man. Go Slender Man comes out tomorrow? Wait, yeah. that's this week. Oh, oh my God. And fuck the PG Meg, 13. dude. So oh, yeah, I have next something to say about this. Black Klansman t- comes out tomorrow, too. That looks really good. That does look really good. Guess who called me to go see it? What? Angel wants me to go see oh, it with him tomorrow. What? Oh, don't do it. <laughs> For the love of God. Um, better pick a, good, better not, pick a theater with good ambience. I was going <laughs> to... <laughs> oh, fuck. I was going <laughs> to... Roasted. I was going to uh, post a tweet on our Twitter page and be like, can they stop making PG-13 horror movies? Because it's they're fucking you dumb. Should be, should be illegal. They're for the kitties. They're so bad, though. It's for the kitties to get rough HJs. But, like, could you imagine, like... <laughs> oh, that's no. That's what, like, 16-year-olds and 15-year-olds <laughs> go to, like, make out with their girlfriends. <laughs> Get dry hand jobs. <laughs> I didn't need, I didn't need my mom to buy me this over ticket. The, over the pants. What are you talking candy? about dry? They got all they do is like stick their hand in the butter it's popcorn. Not, it's not even a hand. And then they got the buttery popcorn oil to it's use. It's just a dry rub. Make <laughs> ribs. You guys, had, you guys had very interesting childhoods. Oh, man. Christ. Um, but no, I would just like. Some Carolina dry Slender Man would be so much better of a movie if it was rated R. Wait, it's it'd be a better movie if it wasn't made. <laughs> I was just about to say, yeah. I see, mean, that's true. See, it's, but it's see. so weird because it's one of those movies where like I I don't want to see it, but I want to see it. Oh no, I want to see it. Like, I have a fucking thing even for though Slender it, Man. even though I'd I'm go not, with y'all, but I'm gonna go to the I'm going to the Jaguars game tomorrow. It's cool. Guy, oh, dude. is it preseason? Yeah. Fuck preseason. You're looking at a Jaguars sports. season ticket holder, baby. What do we do? What, what do we nerd. do? Yeah, we what? we got sport nerds sports on our fucking wrestling. Hey, hey, I'm gonna try hey. and infiltrate the podcast uh, industry for people who do fantasy football, so I can do a podcast fantasy football thing. Oh, there it is. That, okay, that's what Dylan's doing. Now we see his. Now we see the, the true here. the true colors. This is what I wanted the whole time. <laughs> but we I see guess your agenda. Let's get fucking onwards for the show. We got some news as usual. It's gonna be some fun news, weird news. Patrick, right. what do you got for us? It's funny how we talked about this like what a month ago. What about it? Skinwalkers is getting a documentary series. Fuck, we did talk about Skinwalkers. Who are the Skinwalkers? Uh, they're like witches. How about you watch that episode, asshole? Well, yeah, watch it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I just listen to it? Exactly. You had to listen to our friends Pat and Lou. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you that episode. Sweet, sweet little Pippity Pat and Lou. Lou, mind you, is coming to Disney soon, so he said he wants to hang out. Hell yeah. So, Whoa. Lou, if you're listening, we will make plans with you, buddy. We'll Have you guys heard I'll, of let's go to like, Disney with him. Have you guys yes. heard of like the ingredients that, like, the skinwalker like the witch version because there's multiple versions of like what skinwalkers could be yeah the but the, the witch version shit. but the witch version is um like the some of the stuff they use in their spells are, everything they use is like a good name for a metal band <laughs> that's like, true i'm not going to deny that they use some shit called grave grass <laughs> per- that's perfect Dude, that's, listen to so that, man. Sick. that's sick so why th- has no one done that yet i'm about to okay Let's but start yeah, there's a, band. A, there's a documentary coming out it's called hunt for the skinwalker and it comes out on Angel's birthday. On Angel's September 11th. <laughs> Remember when? Oh, so um, if you if you, <laughs> what's happened? so funny over there? 
<laughs> oh god I think it's just but anyways guys horrific. so apparently this documentary is going to expose the truth of the paranormal hotspot which this skinwalker part is, ranch skinwalker ranch is like skywalker ranch what <laughs> Uh, it's apparently the most scientifically studied paranormal hotspot in history. Y'all want to know why I know this? Why? My mom is obsessed with skinwalkers. Really? <laughs> what the fuck? Really? Yeah, no, my mom is very into like the paranormal and like weird we shit bring like her on the that. Show. Dylan's mom. No, she was guest. I was actually talking to her today. She's like, um, she had some really good ideas for the show. She goes, I'll write them down and give them to you guys. Oh, yay. Fuck yeah. Because my mom used to work at a, uh, at a VHS rental store when she was <gasps> younger called Video Magic. And Amazing. It is, literally, it is literally the epitome of like your childhood, like independently owned VHS, VHS store. store. Yes. And she and need like, to bring that back. She used to like get all of like the movies of the week and like those B movies that the scary VHS covers uh-huh. and stuff. Because I was talking to her about one of the movies we're, t- we're, uh, we're going to talk about later. And she's like, I've never seen it, but I remember the cover. Huh. Movies like, 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 like The Sentinel and like yeah. the Beyond the Door. Oh man, stuff like What's that. What's beyond the door? It's a movie. Some movie that my mom saw the commercial for as a kid and still hasn't seen it, <laughs> and won't watch it because apparently it was that scary. Oh my god, it's some of the older. So shout VHS. out to my mom. Thanks for the help. Yeah, shout out Dylan's mom. Um, so apparently this movie is based on the best-selling book by George Knapp and Doctor Calm Kelher. Um, and investigates the confidential, most extensive scientific study of a paranormal hotspot in human history. I'm assuming the Skywalker Ranch in Utah. Uh, it's apparently famous throughout Sky- the you world. You said Skywalker yeah, Ranch again. He, he, you Did literally I? keep saying Skywalker. <laughs> I'm such a fucking... We're getting sued. We're getting sued. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm a Star Wars nerd. I'm sorry. Um, All the more reason to sue you. <laughs> um, so apparently it's famous throughout the world because of its mir- uh, mirage of frightening, seemingly supernatural events that have been reported in the scenic basin surrounding the property for hundreds of years. What sightings inc- <laughs> Exactly. Uh, sightings include orbs, UFOs, animal mutilations... Unknown creatures, poltergeist type activity, and many other inexplicable incidents. Now, if I'm if I remember correctly, I think the ranch, the guy who originally owned it, sold it to like a billionaire who's obsessed with UFOs. Perfect. If or I David had Bowie. if I had a billion dollars, <clears throat> I'd do i I'd do some UFO stuff. I would too. I would literally I, I all I would have is time. So you remember that show on, uh, I bought objects. I bought a Powerball ticket today, so if I win Oh shit. We're all going. We're going. Issa, you hear that? We're going. Okay. Issa's not coming. She said Behemoth sucks. Uh, I'm sorry, Issa. All she has to do is go on the internet and film herself saying she's sorry <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and pay for a promoted post. $20 ought to do it. And then <laughs> even if I won a billion dollars, the fact that you have to pay for it makes it really solidifies the apology. Oh, God. And Nurgle has to respond and say all is forgiven. <laughs> yes, Nurgle. He loves him some Christians. Does he? Oh, what else is going on in the world of horror? I'll read this one if you want. Go ahead, Dylan. What is it? <laughs> oh, wow. We have shown I'm, I'm taking initiative. Stop pulling the curtain. <laughs> You're just supposed to know this shit. <laughs> read? He's I meant, cheating. I meant recite <laughs> from, my, from my brain, not paper that I'm holding. I swear I practiced. Uh, John Carpenter's The Thing is getting its own Scream Factory Steelbook Blu ray. The what? Steelbook Blu ray. Blu-ray. Fuck Blu-ray. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what like the Scream Factory still books are? Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. Like, I just huh? wanted to say do the you? thing again. Oh, uh, okay. Do you? <laughs> Do you? I'm actually kind of stoked. Oh, no. I'm very stoked. Yeah, I love still books. I have the Jurassic Park still book, and it is... It's nice. The uh, artwork on it is... That's why I love still books is because the artwork is always so cool. Yeah, I'll always take... I, I, got, a lot of, I got a lot of DVDs. Like Best Buy has a lot of like mm-hmm. pop art style yeah. ones and... Like I got one for American Werewolf in London that is super sick. Yes, yes. Um, when does it come out? It comes out soon. Um, November sixth. So that's not, soon. That's not soon at all. Yeah. So apparently, <laughs> what it includes is big fat a, phonies. It's a three disc Blu-ray set. Disc one will include a more re- recent two, uh, 2017 4K high definition scan of the film, um, and then disc two and three will be the same content that is currently available on their 2016 collector's edition. Uh, there's only gonna be ten thousand ten thousand units, so it's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna buy ten thousand dollars. I said, "Whoa!" Yeah, it's gonna be uh, one of those hot things to buy. 
Um, and then apparently for ten thousand dollars, John Carpenter better hand deliver it to me. And no, ten thousand units. No, but he said ten thousand yeah. dollars. I thought oh, you were okay. going with ten thousand dollars. And for ten thousand oh. dollars, John Carpenter better show up and rip a sick guitar solo. Yeah, at my house, <laughs> he literally guitar. Um, the artwork you uh, well, the artwork about the post. It's by a uh, it's by Nathan Nathaniel Marsh. Excuse me, who uh, illustrated Scream's prior Carpenter themed still books, including Halloween two and three. And then apparently if you order directly from the site, your packaging will also include an exclusive 28.5 inch by 16.5 inch rolled lithograph of the illustration. That's that was sick, specific. though. Very. What's uh, the website? Um, I don't. My phone? It's Screen Factory. I'm take pretty sure it's ScreenFactory.com. Right take um, my money. Since they're the ones who are making it. Um, so if you're looking, if you're a horror fan that collects movies, because I know there are a lot of them out there. This is going to be one to add to your collection, Definitely. especially buying from their site and getting that lithograph. That's probably really sick because the it, artwork is nice. And there's only f- 1,500 of them being made. Yeah. And it's so. the thing. And it's the fucking thing. <laughs> Actually, the thing. Uh, so we did a poll, um, just a little break real quick, uh, and I asked what you, who you all would like to have us review for a whole month. I voted. Uh, everyone voted. Everyone, thank you for voting. Uh, Carpenter is the winner. So Fuck. soon or later, so there will be, be a, a month soon. long of Carpenter movies, excluding Halloween. So just we're saving that for October. Just because we're saving Halloween. Very episode. funny you're saying that because I just got a tag on the Scream Factory website for all of the John Carpenter Blu-rays that they do. That's because you mentioned it. And, and this, phone's and a, the, no, it's on the website, dumb dumb. That's the <laughs> it's on the website. Chill out, chill out, Alex that's, Jones. That's the it's, real. It's, that's the it's real on horror. My phone. They're always <laughs> listening. The only reason that they did that is because you said something, and the liberals put that on your phone, so you spend all your money. So you can't. So you can't buy my wellness pills. He got banned from YouTube and Facebook, so he's got to come on the horror. Yo, thank podcast. God. Yo, thank God. Freedom of speech, I get it, but also. Fuck that dude. <laughs> yes. yes. For Couldn't real. say it any louder. Fuck that guy. That dude is a perennial white come to life. <laughs> Fuck that piece of shit. <laughs> Can we say it again for the ones in the back? Fuck that guy. I will fight that dude in Alec Baldwin's place. <laughs> Swear to God. Alec Baldwin. Oh, God. That racist George Costanza Bill <laughs> looking. Anyway, as I was saying, yo, this In the Mouth of Madness box looks insane. Yeah, um, that'd be really cool we'll if I could see it. We'll have to post it on our Instagram feed because they you know, can't you're not see going to. I will. Send me the stuff and I'll post it. Don't worry. Screen box if you want to send me some Blu-rays. <laughs> yeah, right? Ugh. They don't need my help. Um, <laughs> something cool that was released today is Halloween Horror Nights released yet another house for us. So here's a Halloween Horror Nights update. Update. <laughs> update <laughs> of the <laughs> week. <laughs> um, 2018 Halloween Horror Nights Seeds of Extinction. Um, I want to say this is house eight or it nine. Is. I can't tell. I can't remember it off the top of my head. It is one of the ten haunted houses. It's one houses. of the ten, but I can't remember which one. So, um, the Ambulance. This is Angel's favorite movie. Oh, well. Seeds, Seeds of Ambulance. Go ahead, George. Seeds of Extinction places guests on Earth moments after a meteor has hit, causing immediate mass destruction across the entire planet. Guests will come face-to-face with the horrific humanoid plants, strangling vines, deadly blooms, and more. They will have no place to hide as they find a way to escape the invasive vegetation overtaking the place they once called home. I like how George is trying to like make it sound like he's like doing a dramatic reading. All I'm saying is that the vegans are taking over. It's the Beyond Burger haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Once you walk to the house, you get a Beyond Burger. It's on actually, the way out. it's actually fucking The Last of Us put into a if haunted I, house. Dude, this whole house is just Eddie chasing you. Go, 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 go vegan! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Please go vegan! Did yes. you know that the almond only takes ninety gallons of water, but our factory cows need two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> we, we talk, Only you we talk, can we, save the animals. We went and uh, we went and rode the mummy ride at Universal the other day, and you know how the beginning there's that dude who's like wrapped in the mummy. He's like he's like get out of here, it's a trap. Yeah. And the guy come, the mummy comes out like silence. It's like what if that dude had like a vegan agenda, <laughs> and he's just like deforestation is caused by factory farm animals. You got to get out of here. And, like <laughs> some dude from like McDonald's is like silence. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You heard it here now, guys. Watch out. The vegans are taking over. Well, y'all got to make fun of my dramatic voice. Uh, um, we'll what, talk. Well, we'll that talk. was your dramatic voice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm quite, uh, actually, I'm unimpressed if that's your dramatic voice. I'm a little sick. Okay. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, see God. Sleep to, um, there's one of the haunted houses. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Pat, what's next on the news, man? What's this next? This Snarling trailer came out. I don't out. even know I hang out with you guys. This movie looks crazy. I didn't see the I trailer. I didn't see the trailer either. I watched it at work, and it looks ridiculous. 
What do uh, you do at your job? It's werewolf. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. All you do is like, yeah, every watch time, this movie. Every time yeah, I ask him something, he goes, I got it done at my job. <laughs> <laughs> Just know that I get paid at this, my job to work on the podcast. <laughs> that's, that's all you need to know. Whenever it well, turns to now us listening. doing stuff for the now podcast, it turns into a job. Yeah, it's just a job. So it's a job. He's um, not wrong. Howling to home video this November. Good God! From <laughs> <laughs> who wrote this? <laughs> Mike did. I did. Um, no, the Starlings. <laughs> it's it's a comedy horror, guys. It's a fucking. Uh, they're describing it as Shaun of the Dead meets American Werewolf in London, and that's two things. That's, that's just two perfect. things I love. Exactly. I love those fucking movies. Um. So it's, apparently it's a sleepy English village is invaded by the cast and crew of a new zombie horror movie, but the horror turns real when someone or something starts tearing villagers, cast, and crew to shred. The snarling. Yeah. Wow. And the werewolf looks fucking hilarious. I have to see the trailer. Mm. No, yeah. Well, I'll post the link on... Because uh, we're not doing the bit today. Yeah, we're not doing the trailer bit today. <laughs> we can't do it in the studio, unfortunately. No, we're in George's... Living. Lovely apartment. <laughs> Lovely apartment <laughs> that he's moving out of. That that the lightning is turning into Dracula's castle. Um, I think lastly, man, one of the things I, it came out a couple of weeks ago on us actually, but we didn't talk about it, and I'm pretty fucking stoked about this. Anyone want to talk about this headline? Yeah, <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> that's the, in my brain. Yeah, that's in your brain. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cast announced. For hereditary director Ari Aster's next project, a pagan cult horror film. That's amazing. Yeah. It's going to be fucking nuts. It's going to be weird. Not crazy. Futs. Nuck and futs. Mike's boner is lifting his table off the ground. <laughs> 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 Ari Aster. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Um, I need an adult. But apparently... Um, it's going to be two people are going to play a couple that travels to Sweden to visit their friend's rural hometown for its fabled midsummer festival. What begins as an uh, idyllic retreat quickly devolves into an increasingly violent and bizarre competition at the hands of a pagan cult. It's Scandinavian horror, guys. Yeah. This is going to be fucking terrifying. That could be good. I'm stoked. Um, I'm looking forward to this, and I'm also looking forward to the director of The Witch's new movie, The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be sick, too, and I can't wait till we start getting more black, and more. It's filmed in black and white, 35-millimeter oh. film. Oh, perfect. With uh, no, that's Robert, yeah. 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 Like, I'm like, Robert Pattinson uh, and Willem Dafoe. Yeah. <sighs> really? Yeah, I, yeah, dude. This I am movie's here be, for that. I'm a huge Robert Pattinson fan. Yeah, that movie's going to be crazy. I think, I think Twilight, a lot of people are like, oh, he sucks. But I'm like, there's seasons, so many other good movies. <laughs> Wait, he did the Twilight series? Robert Pattinson? He was in the... That's he, right. He's the sparkling vampire. That's right. Your My, wife is furious right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you don't know who the fuck Robert Pattinson is? Okay. Record scratch. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty stoked about Pagan, Holt movie, uh, Pagan Horror Cult movie. Um, I'm into that kind of shit. It's cool. Sometimes it gets pretty fucking crazy. Um, I love mentioning looking forward to more information about that. Oh, yeah. Yes, me too. I mean, it'll be Ooh. like... It's going to be weird. Two years till we see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what else you got for us, Pat? Jordan Peele and uh, CBS is working on a Twilight series. Twilight Zone, sorry. Ooh. Yeah. That's going to be weird and crazy. <laughs> Into production later this year. So, Okay. So CBS? Start- yeah. CBS is like Jordan Peele. Yeah, I guess Make so. Make some fucking money. Uh, did you want to talk about that should be uh, interesting. American, uh, that stupid show? That no. fucking crazy ass tr- like trailer? Amer- American Horror Story? That trailer was kind of bizarre. I didn't see the trailer. Yeah. I posted it on Twitter. Right? The, um, the horror show for, as I do, uh, f- air finger quotes, finger quotes, edgy girls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Well, uh, there goes some of our. But followers. I mean, that's good content. I mean, it it looks crazy. I mean, you know how you know where I stand with American Horror Story. I'm yeah, really not I interested swear in that it's good. time. I don't care near. Um, I'm done. It's just one of those shows. Like I like don't the, care. It's like The Walking Dead, where I just like I was into it, but now I'm like, really, it's going on to more because tim- they just got greenlit to season ten. So oh my man. god! What season they're on now? Seven, eight, nine. Sometimes because you just season need eight no was last way year. To quit it. I like the hotel one solely because that soundtrack was perfect. Oh yeah, I loved. Right. Uh, I just like a good. I just liked every scene where Lady Gaga was in. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my. I liked god. Uh, Asylum. I thought Asylum was a cool year, uh, although they had their flaws with like storyline and really not picking one, one of the thing, stories to yeah. go with. <laughs> I did like the whole concept of uh, uh, Bloody Face. I like that. Yeah. I like Freak Show until they kill all Twisty. Oh, yeah. 
So well, yeah, then, like, I mean, like it has its moments. I don't hate it. Yeah, it, it definitely has its moments, but then it's also like this is so generic and everybody oh. loves. But like everyone I talk to, they're like, "Oh my god, Coven's my favorite season." Lady That's, Gaga should be in every. And season it's just ever. like everyone saying their favorite Black Mirror episode is San Junipero, and I'm like, "Oh, please yeah. get a different opinion. <laughs> please watch other things. Somebody, please give me a different opinion other yeah. than those being your favorite." Uh, anything else for the movie? The horror news? No, no. not that much this week. No, Spirit kind of Halloween's s- doing a cool thing for uh, Hocus Pocus in this 25 year anniversary. Are they now? really? Yeah, they have a bunch of cool shit that they're going to be displaying. Like they're mm. going to have their own section. I'm pretty sure there's Hocus Pocus pops coming too. Yeah, yeah they, there's they Hocus, the pops. Hocus Pocus pops coming. I out. saw. Does not shock me. You can have yeah. Billy's head as an ornament for uh, Halloween. Tree? Yeah. They did do cool uh, Halloween ornaments last year for your Christmas tree. Yeah. Those were really sick. So Michael's is cool in stuff. full effect for the Halloween. Michael's year. comes, yeah. They they literally release their shit like months. They're like, get ready, motherfuckers! And yeah. as soon as they release it, it's fifty percent off. My <laughs> body like, is shit. ready. Um, it's always ready. We have a, shout out to Michael's for the fucking sick Halloween gear and all the sick fucking frequent poster frame deals. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Michael. That, that's just poster me. Frames. That's just me wanting to thank them in my own thing. <laughs> I call um, them every week, like hi. Um, I was wondering if uh, <laughs> your poster frames are on sale. <laughs> And they're like, no, it's assorted knickknacks. And they hang up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> hang up the phone. Stop they yell calling at me. here. Oh, my God. So um, what are we talking about today on the show? So, if, Dylan, you take over because this was your I idea. I uh, like themes, guys. <laughs> I like themes. And what's, what's the, the theme, theme this week? Uh, Mike, aren't you? didn't you just move into a new place? I did. George, aren't you moving out of this place into a new place? I move on Saturday. And Pat, aren't you moving to somewhere? I'm out of his in car. September. He's moving in September. Question. Um, would you say... Hey, Dylan, are you moving soon? I'm not. <laughs> I am not. That's why I'm not worried. <laughs> but, um, That's why. Fuck you guys. I'm good. But question. Um, the places that you moved into, would you say they are unreasonably cheap? or <laughs> <laughs> Realistically, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. They just said we're living here, and I said, okay, good talk. I mean, I'm pretty much living there now. Because I feel like Orlando would be like, yeah, there's a dead body in here somewhere, so it's 1500 for two bedrooms. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's no, expensive. That's, that's that's about right on price. I don't know what you're talking about, George. No, I mean, like that's expensive. Yeah. Compared to St. Augustine. Yeah. No. yeah. Where, Orlando has some Orlando is like high rent. That's the scary part is the prices of rent. <laughs> I can live with the, I can live with the dead guy in the back the, of the room. I, I can't live you know with that what? rent I'll price. I'll take a second dead guy but no, if no. you could lower the rent. My, <laughs> yeah. If I find another dead body, is it cheaper? <laughs> no. <laughs> it actually goes up. Well shit. Um Yeah, so I picked the theme of um peop- movies involving families or people moving into a new spot. And it being spooky. Things not going the way you would normally want them to go when you move into a new house. I just want to say, I feel like there is a better assortment of movies you could have picked. Hey, I I gave you a list. He did give you a list. I gave you a list. Well, I didn't check it twice. Well, Well, you know what? Fuck you for referencing Santa Claus. Still real to me, Who the fuck are you? (laughs) Still real to me. Um, Yeah, there was a decent list. So, I mean, if you're upset with the movie choices, you should have spoke up. I like this week's. It was fun. I think it was fun. I haven't seen these movies in a long time. I've actually haven't seen one of the movies ever. Yeah. Um, So, it was a fun time. It was fun to rewatch a movie that I really enjoy. A movie that I hated when I first watched it and hated it the second time. Me and Pat have a time. special connection with one of these movies. Oh. Uh, do you mind if I pick the order and we go ahead? Talk I don't about know, go ahead. What he's talking about because <laughs> I have I have notes. <laughs> okay, what what movie first? You know what? Don't just do the whole podcast. It's fun. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, jerks, shut your mouths. <laughs> it's my turn. It's time to, to listen. All right, audience, aka virgins. This <laughs> is the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Thirteen Ghosts is oh, the man, first. I was movie. hoping you were gonna see that one for last. Yeah, we should have said that one for last. No, because all last. the notes I have on the last one, there are a lot. Okay, like, okay, fine. Because there's thirteen ghosts. Okay, and then he showed me his Honey phone right now. Okay, and then there is well, spoiler. The sen- there is the Jesus. Other one. He has emoticons in his oh. notes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. How are you some, gonna translate sometimes those? Words, sometimes words don't do it justice. I got you. That, and okay. I feel like uh, as far as New Age punctuation goes, or would you call it? Millennial punctuation. You can end a sentence with an emoji. That's yes. true. You I agree. You, there's no need for a, uh, accents on punctuation after an emoji. That is the final say. But my <laughs> word is law. <laughs> Webster's dictionary can suck it. <laughs> um, okay, so 13 Ghosts, 2001. Oh, man. 
And you can definitely tell that it was made can in you, 2001. Did you guys just think that, like, oops, there was going to, like, you would just hear, like, disturbed guitar riffs throughout this entire movie? Yeah. Yeah. Because around that time. I was waiting for a Marilyn Manson soundtrack to start playing. Yeah. Every <laughs> horror movie around that time had, like, a perfect circle or, like, Marilyn Manson <laughs> on it. <laughs> Or like Deftones. It was their prime. Oh, those were, but that was the sickest year for good like soundtracks and stuff. But like, nope, the score was terrible <laughs> in this movie. Yeah, I it like really the, wasn't that good. And we'll talk more about it. But the end credit song, the rap. Oh, oh yeah, oh, I have that. I have notes oh, about God. that. Mirror, I, did, mirror, I did research. I did, re- the wall. I did research about that. Um, <laughs> of course you did. That's like, like Will I, Smith doing the rap at the end of Men in Black. Or Wild Wild West. Oh God! It is the oh, horror. Mirror God. Mirror is the equivalent to Wild Wild West for horror movies. <laughs> Um, but no, let's talk about that opening scene. Uh, oh, you mean the blood truck? <laughs> blood truck. <laughs> that was so cool, the though. I wrote blood truck and then metal horns emoji. <laughs> that was so that's fucking metal. Favorite, that's like top three characters of the What's movie is bait? blood truck. <laughs> I think blood Gil is truck. onto something here with the emojis. So they hunt for ghosts the way people hunt for sharks. Yeah, yes. they just chum the fucking they, junkyard. They chum junkyards. <laughs> they bring these fucking glass ca- cages and But the junkyard didn't make sense. The broke-ass Vincent Price gets out. <laughs> He's like, somebody find me a ghost. And they're like, <laughs> Cyrus, you can't do this, Cyrus. <laughs> yeah, fucking Shaggy has a problem. No, here, here's <laughs> one of my main problems, and it comes a little bit uh, later on in the movie with the main actor, the Dad. I oh, couldn't. You mean monk? Oh, Monk? Sh- yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Even, sh- hold on. Even better. Every time he sweated in the movie, he reminded me from fucking the guy, his same character from Men in Black 2 when oh Tommy Lee Jones God. kept yeah. shooting him in the fucking head. <laughs> Don't you realize how much that stings? Yeah, I was like, I his can't. His character was so good. That's one of the best parts of Men in Black is his character. I know, but then I just kept seeing that character in Go- <laughs> 13 Ghosts the entire time I watched it. All right, but the, would you say, the, would the you junkyard you? scene makes sense when you go back. Uh, it's only in the DVD special or on YouTube. Yeah. They have the documentary on all the ghosts and the juggernaut, whatever they want to name him. He has like three different names in this movie. Yeah. The it's Juggernaut, the, juggernaut the, Titan. The, the Titan, and the Breaker. Yeah. But his background story takes place in... Uh, j- he works... Uh, yeah, so it yard. makes sense. Cool. But they don't tell, <laughs> they don't tell like you... They the don't tell you any of the background scene. stories in Can the movie we, at all. I love Can how they made profiles for all, third, or all 12 ghosts, but... Didn't tell anybody. They were like, "Oh yeah, buy the DVD and we'll tell you all." No, the they, they 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 they, 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 they brushed on it. Yeah. They brushed on it. Yeah, but they don't go like full detail. Like, yeah, that back, was, you know what? I bet that was story. written in the movie just to sell the extra commentary. Oh hell yeah, one hundred percent. Because that was find out my, what the what the ghosts are really about. Um, the, just can we just can we just say that that beginning scene is almost a ripoff of the se- the beginning scene from Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. And the raptor <laughs> and the cage and the soldiers trying to trap it. Yeah. Holy shit. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh. You know what? You want to know something funny? I just realized that 10 seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even in I'm sitting notes. here. Y'all are talking to my brain. And I go, hey, wait a second. <laughs> I've seen this before. <laughs> Holy shit! That d- it does feel like that. Like that. I will say, like, I don't care if it reminds you of that. It's still a sick scene. Yes. Um, yeah. Seeing, mo- yes. seeing them getting thrown around and fucking crushed. He uh, bent that dude in half. Dude, that was backwards. so dude, sick. Oh, Underneath the, the, of the car. Oh, I was like, so well, sick. you must have used too much blood. And that was a fucking but, super rage. But I, I said, I said the score sucked because that's action movie score. Yeah. You know, for that, it wasn't. It didn't feel like a horror movie to me. It felt it like an very action movie. Action-y. Um, but the reason this movie was picked, it has the theme of it goes into the next scene, a pretty interesting way of like not getting too much into detail about why they're in the predicament that they're in. Yeah. But it's um, Tony Shalhoub, Monk, Monk, um, Shannon Elizabeth, American Arr- Pie. Arr- <laughs> yeah. My <laughs> God. 2000 <laughs> Shannon Elizabeth. <laughs> what a fuck. She plays oh in uh, Silicon Valley, God. too, now. Yeah. What? She plays in Silicon Valley. Since when? She's the daughter, right? The who? Oh, no. Just kidding. Wrong actress. Yeah. Oh, wrong, wrong. movie. You're thinking of... Uh... No, no, no. No, the teenage girl of the family, Yeah, she plays in Silicon Valley. You're going to have to look that up because I don't believe it. Hold that. on, bro. Let me look it up. But, you but, guys then, but, then, but it, then there's... Because then... another girl in an, another movie we're going to discuss today is in Silicon Valley as well. Oh. Oh, wait. I'm thinking of the wrong movie. Yeah, you're thinking of the wrong... I'm thinking of the wrong movie. Wrong movie because I know who you're talking about. Yeah, you're okay. She's but, a babe. Yes. But Shannon Elizabeth, yes. my God. American Pie. And she's the witch girl, right? And Jack Frost. Was it Jack Frost? The, <laughs> yes. the snowman movie? Wait, yes, yes. She was in that movie. <laughs> oh, my Lord. With, hey, that's a good with movie. With fucking Michael Keaton? <laughs> no, 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 the no, horror no, movie? The horror version. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Michael no. Keaton's a nice snowman. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, but no, yeah, the uh, the the dad. This, there's a sister. There's a jot that down. Christmas episode. Oh, there's, well. a, there's a younger brother what? named Bobby, and then there's a mom. They do a 360 pan. Basically, it goes from happy family to so, like sad house family. burns down, mom burns alive in the house. <laughs> Doesn't every, li- make it throughout every, the fucking hospital. Everyone's poor, I guess now. <laughs> uh, He's just a math teacher. The fire took everything. They, they hire. But yeah, they, we could have afford it. They, yeah. hi- they hire <laughs> rapper Raw Digga <laughs> to be their nanny, I guess. Yeah, sort of. She doesn't do her job well. No, she doesn't. She just she just makes like offbeat like cracker jokes. Yeah. Can also, we, in can the we movie, talk, can we talk about that like, one liner people, at the end of the like, movie? Why people be tripping? Like, is, is that kind of shit? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you know they're just like, let's make her say this. Exactly, they're like Which, hmm. it's pandering writing, I guess. But plus, and in the scene where they were introduced to all those characters, isn't the daughter cooking the food? Yeah, and yeah, and she and she's not that good at it. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, the um, creepy lawyer shows up. With plays a plays a fucking movie in a plays briefcase, a video, plays a which video, is way before its plays time. Plays a video of broke ass Vincent Price dramatically lighting a cigarette to tell his nephew, "Hey." Um, I know Come you don't live know in my me, creepy and house. I don't know you, but I have a mansion, and it's all yours. Oh, also, hold on. So, here's where my like my thinking comes into play, right? Yeah, you're struggling, one not you just your your nephew has died this death mysteriously. This your uncle, uncle, whatever. Fuck it. It opens a briefcase. There's a fucking movie screen, and then you didn't like look at the background, and was like. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Like all the fucking transcriptions and weird no, occult the, symbols. The lawyer and shit. He did the say his uncle was weird. weird shit. Yeah. And he also did say that his uncle was into weird shit too. Yeah. But and then you're like, hmm, let's go family. live in this. Let's go live in his house. But they don't believe in well, that kind of shit. Well, they so. were checking it out. He was skeptical. Yeah, they didn't sign the papers yet. <sighs> so they, they go to the check house. It out. Yeah. They go to the house. They go to the house. And Matthew Lillard is there disguised as a electrician, which worked <laughs> Dude, sure. I, I didn't know it was him the whole time. Yeah, sure. It? I guess Tony Shalhoub is blinded by bliss of hey, you get a free mansion <laughs> and money. Yeah. Um. Here's a. Uh, I need to check the power, and then the power comes the bre- on. The breakers. The breakers. But yeah. the power comes on. Well, he. he I mean, like he. It's the other house. That was that, that was his excuse to get in the house. Yeah. 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 Then once he's in the house, he's in it. And then that. Well, I'll tell you what though. The house design is what was really his sick. Get, yeah. Well, no. The house is. That's where they went. That's well, where they spent a lot. What was his motive to get inside the house, anyways? Huh. What was his motive to get inside the house? I, I just think he was trying to he was figure trying to out see what Cyrus was doing. Yeah, because he was like, "Oh, well, that and Cyrus also owed him a lot of money." So I'm sure, like, so another motive was like, "I con- want to get this money." So he went there conveniently the day that Monk and his family were going to go. It's just yeah. movies we, we're talking we, we about talk here. About that. True. So, um, very true. So the house design is sick. Yeah. I love the house, and actually, I the, would live in it though. The transcriptions Absolutely all not. in Latin you are could. apparently like the Lord's Prayer. If you were to translate them, yeah. it's just the Lord's Prayer everywhere. Lame. Listen here. But, all um, right. So the house, the house was made completely <laughs> of glass. Yeah, there was glass everywhere. Everywhere. You know, Cyrus was a freak. <laughs> Yeah, Cyrus was. Well, but then them. again, I, then I guess it's like you know you can do whatever you want if there's no one coming to your house. But like, if Amazon comes and brings you a package, and then like halfway <laughs> through the house, he sees through all the mini glass doors, <laughs> just like you wearing a kimono, just being like, you know, if I was a girl, I would be pretty. Yeah, like shit like that, and then like, oh no, he's here! Like, damn you, glass house! <laughs> like, yeah, I never no understood pri- glass houses like that. Well, no, no one There's has. There's another horror not- movie called The Glass House. I know. Let's watch it. They watch it. What happened was they watched Thirteen Ghosts. So like we can make a whole other movie about this <laughs> so about the, the house. So yeah, they're, they're so like they're all checking out the house and shit, and then they go down. The lawyer goes downstairs to get the cash, which was the best kill scene. Which the second best kill scene. Which was oh, so and sick. they made a, a fucking trap. joke about it, like. Lawyer split, like, oh that yeah, was good. oh yeah. What happened to the that lawyer? Was that was a good. That was good. I like that. <laughs> so a lot. I didn't catch that. But that was like cool. Three uh, times I watched it before this, and then when I was watching it for this, I was like, <laughs> no, that Do was you not pay attention to movies. Bro, not when he was they, younger. They clearly dude. said, "What was the name what, of that the lawyer?" Girl? Split. What was the name of that girl? That girl, the tortured princess. The oh no, the, princess. the angry princess. The angry princess. Mm-hmm. Listen, I didn't <laughs> know I had a type until until the angry princess walked in. You're just something like, about a naked woman covered in blood holding a knife. <laughs> Taking a bath in blood. <laughs> that oh. just says, I will take you to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you money is not an to option. a nice seafood dinner and, and call you back. Money is not an option. <laughs> I, I, a really cool scene I did like in the movie was uh, the scene where the daughter's in her room and she's in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. And it's a normal scene until the camera pans into the classics, the glasses. Yeah, and then it's... Which they explain like, that could, that's what you use to see the ghost, which is yeah. from the original movie as well. Which was cool, but you see it 
pan through the glasses and then you see all the blood on the walls and you actually see the angry princess like looking at her and stuff like that. I thought that was really effective. That scene. was really effective. Well, the ghosts in the movie, all like, oh, they're as so corny good. as the movie is in the sense, the ghosts in the movie are fucking like very effective. They, when yeah, I first very watched, effective. When I first watched this when I was like 10, it scared the living shit out of me, especially the jackal. Oh yeah, the jackal's terrifying. Oh, you and we'll get, we'll get more like on the jackal later. Shreds. Um, I have a note here that says "fuck Bobby." <laughs> that yeah. little kid. That little kid's a serial killer. Was just scooting his way around trouble. What? what, what just he and, was doing his own podcast, man. But someone was sure like, was. <laughs> "But someone was like, hey, go down the stairs." And then they're like, "Don't." And then you know, a ghost is like, "His don't mother's go down like, the don't stairs. go down the stairs." Well, don't. Like, well, call, you can't say that. We're going to get yeah, to that's, that. Yeah, that thickens oh, the plot. I'm sorry. No one, <laughs> I ruined no one, it. Because oh. no one knows the other voice. <laughs> oh, oh sorry. I ruined it. But he goes down there anyway. Sorry being, like, being like, you guys better quit playing around. It's like, just no. Go upstairs, Bobby. Yeah. Stop being alone. But he needs to scoop dude. <laughs> oh, that's true. Uh, I think one of my favorite ghosts is the hammer. The hammer? The hammer is fucking the hammer. You do seem I like a hammer type of guy. Nice. I am. <laughs> 100%. What does that mean, Pat? I don't know, but I I am I enjoy it. Oh, Mike likes to lay down the hammer. Sure does. Okay. Pat I like his wife just laughed. <laughs> She's uh, like, see? Mm-hmm. I said it. When, when Issa's out of town, Mike likes to go to, how should I put this? Um, men-centered clubs, I guess you could say. Hell yeah. I like the, the all where, male gentlemen's clubs where the uh, banana all the uh, banana hammocks are gentlemen squares. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> about it. Um, I don't. I'm about it. I would say honestly, I made a note that like I kind of wish you because you know all the like the Conjuring's doing Annabelle spinoffs and the Nun spinoffs <laughs> that we got a spinoff for these. Oh my god! If the Jackal had a spinoff movie, done, dude. Oh, what it, what it, if they would, did a TV show? Would be about it if they did a TV show of them capturing each individual ghost. No, fuck the capturing. I no. just want to see the ghosts fucking wreak havoc. They did these, a, these ghosts. All right, and that's another thing about this movie too. And I guess we'll get into it much later because it's the end of the movie. Yeah. You know what? We'll wait till we'll later. We'll wait. We'll wait. Yeah. No, we'll it's get, a stupid. It's a stupid thing. Too. The ending is dumb. Very dumb. Um. So we got Bobby going down the stairs, scooting around. Um, he can't see anything yet because he doesn't have the glasses. Yeah. Um, no, he's wearing the glasses when he's in the basement. That was something. That's I why he, he's, 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 he's able to see the the tor- uh, the torso and the bowel. Oh, that's right. He's, and which was I really love the torso. It's actually done I hate by that two I remember uh, all their cool. fucking names. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, I it's loved. Actually, I I used to have a because I, I I was scared of this movie for a while. Uh huh. And to conquer my fear, I kept watching it. <laughs> Okay. Until eventually, I'm it like, works. this is a guilty pleasure because I fucking love it. I enjoy the movie. The I only because the only good performance acting wise is Shaggy. Yeah, he's the only cool character. Well, it's uh, what's his name from Scream? Yeah, I can't remember his name. It's, it's not. It's Bobby. No, no Bobby's not. the boyfriend. Billy. No. Uh, fuck. It starts with it, a stupid. Uh, not Sid. Not Billy Sid. Bob. No. No, it's not Sid. It, whatever. He plays in Scream, so like yeah. that's why automatically like he was already in one hit. So like that's why he was probably. So I like Matthew Lillard Lou? in this movie. It's no, Matthew it's Lewis. Lillard. Matthew Lillard. 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 None of y'all have ever seen. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's not important. None of y'all have ever seen SLC. No, now it's gonna. Fuck yes. It. Yes. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's a great. Fan. That's why he carries his movie. He's in Twin Peaks season Twin three. Twin Peaks too. Yeah. Oh, damn. Um, <laughs> uh, you know what I liked about this movie too, and I don't know if this was like an accident or not. Uh, not everybody had glasses. Yeah. I think that was probably on purpose. So oh, some oh, uh, it raised the tension of not everyone could but see. But it him. ruined exactly. some of the rules of the movie cuz you know how in the movie it says like no one could hear or like hear through the glass? Yeah. There's a scene where uh sh- I'm going to call him Shaggy. <laughs> no because some yes, people are, no cuz some people are going to think you're thinking of the double <laughs> Well, now that Shaggy. All right, not that guy. The other <laughs> wasn't me. Roro. <laughs> Stop. That Shaggy. His name is Shaggy. Anyways, his name is Matthew. Matt, Matthew. Call, you can call him Matthew. Matthew. His, his, ca- fucking care. his, call him Matthew. his care. What's his name in the movie? Nanny? His name is Matthew in real life. Just call him Matthew. So there's a scene where Matthew's getting he's stuck in the room with the torch the torn prince. Yes. And he's throwing the bat at him, he keeps filling it. And it's the what's her face? Whatever the, the nanny. nanny. She does it. she has the glasses. Yeah. She has the glasses and she's like telling him like the duck and shit, but I'm like could they couldn't you not hear through those? I don't glasses? think I feel like that, that, that place wasn't hundred percent sealed off. Yeah. They made it seem like it was because yeah, well, they, they said Bobby couldn't hear, hear him when they was calling for them, like calling for Bobby and shit like that. Well also you gotta remember too Plot that holes. he's psychic. He can kinda see him. Yeah. He doesn't need the glasses. True. So yeah, maybe he, she was just shouting well, the only thing just they just to shout 
like, hey, get out of there. But well, maybe she's not her. really thinking about the fact that he can't really hear her. Yeah, yeah she's just he's shouting, just like but he can in, he, he can duck because he's psychic. Yeah, because okay. like, he's like super yeah, but he still can't so there's no point him, in that though. scene. <laughs> it's not true. He no, there's can. a point in that scene. There's a point in that scene. Yeah, there's a point. This scene was actually really good. I like it that was scene. a good scene. But it's a good, it's a good scene. I thought he's that would the be shit a... kicked out of him. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> let's talk about that scene real quick because I made a note. Um, Tony Shalhoub had the wonderful idea. Oh God! Of taking one of the glass planes, one of the glass planes, and they... like, with all the inscriptions on mm-hmm. it that the ghost couldn't get through. Also, let's talk about how the jackal fucked up two people real bad. Oh yeah, his daughter <laughs> oh, and then him. Yeah. And they they did the scene. Um, where Shannon Elizabeth is getting attacked and a titty pops out. Yeah, <laughs> oh, like literally, like she's getting attacked and it just goes pop, pop. Yeah, it pops it's out and I was eating something. Went <laughs> and I really rewinded. Was, like, was that a titty? And I was like, yeah. it's it's not a horror movie without a booby. The jackal's the hero of the show. That's why I'm concerned. Yeah. The jackal said, "You know what? Yeah. We need more booby." Yeah, the jackal. Yeah, she, he popped he, he popped the titty out and then everyone's like, yeah. And then dude, he Monk just sat there and took it. Yeah. Yeah. He was like going to town because he also gloves. he didn't have the glasses either. He was just getting he was just getting obliterated. Yeah. I'd have ran. Back. I'd have ran. Dude, the jackal's so fucking cool. That scene yeah. was scary when they were dragging her away yeah. and, yeah. He, and like she, she was he was chasing them. Shout that was out pretty to Jurassic fucking Park scary. Effective, effective ghost scares. Yeah, like doing cool things that ghosts. Because not all of them did fucked up shit. Yeah. No. No, because the little the little boy with the arrow. He, he was just do, staring at him. He was just the, fat, the fat baby and the little oh, grandma. That one grosses me oh, out, So man. gross. So, God, it grosses me out. The background story on that one, too, is interesting. I knew I had to eat my snacks before that part came up. <laughs> yep. Because I, <laughs> I was like, the no. great, I'm just picturing Dylan The great snacks. child oh, and the dire mother. I, think, I, I also think that's the, the, that's the same actor from uh, Seven. Oh, the, the fat, fat one with, where, yeah. the gut, where the gut burst? Oh, yeah, I think so, too. Oh, my God. Look like him. Oh, so, yeah, they're carrying the giant slab, right? Yeah. And... Any, anyone who anyone who's helped a friend move a mattress <laughs> knows that carrying something like that is uncomfortable. uncomfortable. So imagine and probably jagged. Imagine and awkward. Imagine helping your friend carrying a mattress through a haunted house that you know <laughs> is haunted. I mean, you know how uncomfortable that's got to be. Very. To like have one hand in a weird corner and be like, I'm slipping. I'm slipping. I gotta, I gotta re-hip my grip. <laughs> I gotta like, re-grip, re-grip. I don't, I don't want, I don't want the load bearing in. I want the other end. This is like. <laughs> oh, Meanwhile, man. there's a ghost in front of you just. Hitting it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally banging the glass. Yeah, the James Dean ghost or whatever, <laughs> the torn prince. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, and then that's when uh, old Matthew Lillard got destroyed. Got his comeuppance. Yeah, he, oh, yeah, by the hammer and the jackal. Yeah, that was got, such a cool scene. Yeah, and what's cool is that he saw his death. Yeah, previously. Yeah, he knew. Um, he knew. It was so coming. he knew he was. It was coming, and I feel like that's why he did it too. He kind of like. Oh, he knew there was put, no he changing. He put Mark it. behind the glass, and he was yeah. like, "All right." Well, he just and knew there lies he became the thirteenth ghost. But mm-hmm. Not really, <laughs> not really. He's um, just a ghost at the house at that point. That's the other thing. I mean, like, this movie has a lot of like weird like plot holes, or like the acting isn't so great. But the overall like f- like the acting's fine. It's not bad. It's not awful. Matthew's the best part. Yeah, Matthew definitely carries the because it's, it's him not and bad. the uncle. The uncle because he's like kind of over the top. Yeah. Oh, we also forgot to mention that someone else breaks in the house. Oh yeah, your uh, the woman, the the witch lady, <laughs> the, the activist. Yeah. But apparently, but she's, when she's pr- uh, prepping, when you first see her character again, she grabs a not a book of containment <laughs> spells, but a book of um, I can't remember the word, but it, the spell book she grabs is the opposite of containment, but they have like a weird a word for it. I can't it's remember. It's the nomenomicon. <laughs> <laughs> the Nomenomicon. but like non if you were to, yeah so like there was two spell books one was like a book of spells for containment so like uh-huh. things you would use to contain the, the ghost but the one she grabbed wasn't that one I just can't remember the name of it I meant to write it down when I was reading about right. it but if you were to catch it you would have known earlier on that she actually wasn't working against Cyrus right because like of well the we way, didn't even know Cyrus was grabbed. alive until Bobby he's not alive yeah. he's a yeah, ghost we, no he's alive. No, no. They saw him without the Bobby's glasses. Alive. Bobby's alive. No, no, no. Cyrus is alive. So, Cyrus yeah, is alive. So like, actually, so what happened with that? They don't explain, but he's still alive. He faked he, his he, death. He faked his death to get his family there so someone could be So he could make a sacrifice. Because the, so the, the house is not a okay, house. It's a machine. So the giant fucking slash on his Built, throat is fake. The house yeah, is not a house. There. Like, if it, if it he's was, not a ghost. I do I do love this. Monk, monk. saw him without the glasses. I do like he, he beat up. He punched him. <laughs> monk, pun- monk beat up broke he ass. punched him in the face I'm monk just confused punched- on why the fuck there was a giant slash on his neck oh so you confused the shit out of you just, like, yeah, he was a ghost. ghost well it they was were effective to do- I, you know what they were trying to do they were trying to do the fucking 
<laughs> so apparently only Bobby and Mike Womack were affected were <laughs> believed that he was a yeah, ghost. Yeah, so like uh He's as of today, I have just now no that's news you were, to me. You were today years old when you found that out. <laughs> today years old. I do like that line in the movie where they're like, It's not a it's not a house, it's a machine yeah. built by the devil, powered yeah. by the dead. That was fucking new That's metal. fucking That's metal. sick. That needs to be in a song somewhere. Yep. Yeah, that is that is a fucking dope line. So yeah, old fucking um charging crystals on the full moon lady comes out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Saves the day because that's what she is. Yeah, and she comes in there you know, with her with, silver flares, like nickel or whatever. Yeah, it's I like think they were silver flares. or something like that. Yeah, to ward off the spirits. Another thing that just yeah, exactly. Everyone's like, wearing leather. Let's just shoe the horn this in because we need to continue the movie. Yeah, yeah, so she gets in there. We need to get to the library. So the, yeah, yeah let's they, keep get, going. they get to the library, library. and she that's turns. When, she turns out to be a double agent. Shocker. That's also when uh, Monk finds out that his wife's in the house as a spirit. Yeah. Which was yes. pretty intense. That was pretty sad. The burnt lover or the something? Burnt, the burnt maiden or the something? The burnt maiden. Something, something like, like that, that yeah. fits, uh, fits the thing. A ghost that really didn't really stick out much besides the fact that she's part of the story because yeah. she's Monk's kind of just wife. Like, so it turns out, yeah. The emotional Cyrus It was all shit. Cyrus's plan. <laughs> Cyrus burnt the house down on purpose to kill her to make her it's the ghost. The withered lover. The withered there you lover. Go. Withered. Yeah. The withered. She does, um, she does that and then... Yeah, so homegirl teams up with Cyrus, and then he kills, he her. kills her. He kills her. She gets smushed, Sm- so cool. obliterated. Yeah, she she becomes a glass sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you just watch her face um, go pop. I like the whole machine, the mechanism of the machine. I thought that was really cool. Was it was it somewhat Event Horizon remnant? Yeah. Like oh yeah, one hundred percent for sure. Um, also, I like one of my major main problems is the fact that. Um, he pushed Cyrus into the machine and it sliced and diced his ass, but then he jumps through no problem. Oh, because there's a there's a gap. There's no a gap. Any video game, any platformer video game will tell you that's possible. Yes. <laughs> yeah. no start. Crash always, Bandicoot did it. Plus, yeah. Cyrus' death was it. pretty cool because all the ghosts pick him up. And yeah, that was there. cool. I did and like don't, Cyrus. Don't death. you don't you love the two, the mid, like the mid two thousand non three D head flying towards the screen? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> all right, yeah. We don't <laughs> no blood it's splatter. Early 2000s. No, no, what do you no, no it's blood clean splatter. Cut. It's clean cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it's a fun movie. So that, a, yeah, so I, then, I enjoy if anything, because of the makeup, and it definitely wins because of the makeup and, and the s- the set is fucking sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, let's get to the best part of this movie. Oh, God. <laughs> God. The ending song. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, can we talk about... Oh, yeah. The ending is so lame. How they just let all these killer fucking ghosts just out? Yeah. These ghosts like, aren't... like, like they're, they're not, not. Are they happy they ghosts people. now? No. Like, now that no. They're, they're still tormented but, 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 but they still can't leave the house. Yeah, they no, did they, leave they, the house. They, 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 they you leave. see them leave the house. Yeah. And you literally watch at the end. The last scene, you see the jackal around. The jackal was skipping around. Going, hey, Excuse hey, hey. me. What? That's at the end of the credits. Yeah. yeah. No. It's no. Before no. The it's before the credits. Literally before the credits, dude. I did not see that. It's before. right Holy when. Shit. It's right when the nanny makes a joke of uh, "I quit." Yeah. She does She's like, whole, "I quit." Uh, which, by the way, how she survived? She was right next to the machine when it blew up. Yeah. I don't. She was like, "I didn't sign and up for this." And then she quits, and then it's a, it's a, it's a shot of the house bro- all broken down, and you see all the ghosts going to the woods. So you remember the last, the last. You did not see I that. Did not see that. Wow. You remember the wow. last scene in Fallen Kingdom, Jurassic Park, going back once again when all the dinosaurs go into the woods. Oh my god! It's the same shit. Says, Listen, we're not getting into that right now. <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> okay, so what's what's up with the ending so song? So the song, God. I kinda Early two thousands. I kind of want to find it and play it over the microphone. Just, just, so. well, just, just we'll find it. it for later, just and we'll play it. it later. Okay, but basically, in in two thousands fashion, a rap song <laughs> ends the ends the credit, and the woman who played the nanny is a rapper named Raw Digga, R A H space D I G G A. Oh, right here. I had no idea. The this song was is thing. called Digga. Mirror Mirror. She was in a movie. Uh, her other quit. Her other credit is she is in a movie called, and this has to be a podcast episode. The hip hop witch. Oh God. The <laughs> the D- hip hop witch. What? Oh, that, there's her single right there. Mirror, mirror. It's a single. It's a single. It's a single. She her co stars of the hip hop witch include Eminem. No, what? Ja Rule. Oh my God. Vanilla Ice. Oh my God. <laughs> Mob Deep, Jesus, Kill a Priest, uh huh, Outsiders, okay, Royce to Five Nine, <laughs> okay, and the man himself, rest in peace, P- 
Prodigy. Oh my God! I have to see this movie. <laughs> what is this movie about? Uh, I please tell me I saved. Uh, yes, okay. It's got a 1.7 out of 10 on IMDb. That's perfect. What's uh, the this, is the, this is the drunk movie. Oh, this is definitely this the drunk is movie. The, this okay. is definitely the drunk movie. We're doing a drunk podcast. Yes. 2000 oh. trash comedy. Oh, vitamin C is in this movie. Oh my God. <laughs> Please. Oh, okay. No. Please. So Can let's someone play the song. No, we'll we'll, fi- we'll find it later. We'll play it later. Okay, no but uh, I can't. I I thought I saved a caption of what the movie is about, but with a cast like that, yeah, it's got to be gold. <laughs> what yeah. year did it come out? Uh, two thousand. So before eight mile. Oh. I think it's about a witch that just goes after a bunch of rappers. Okay. Did you did you get the 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 synopsis? To collect a reward, young people try to capture a supernatural being who attacks rappers in urban areas. There you go. Oh, my God. So this movie's about the police. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Mike. <laughs> deep, 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 deep. Why are we snapping? Deep, what? Hashtag deep, deep shit. Deep. All right. So w- w- it's, it's easy to, to assume that we all really like uh, 13 Ghosts. Yeah. It's you know, a good movie. Oh, I give it a it. solid 10. Do, do we want to do the ten rating? Oh my god! Yeah. Hold on, because I feel like so, I feel like it's either you would watch it or you wouldn't. So before we go what, with on, thirteen ghosts, preceding the film's release, Eminem's lawyers attempted to have his scenes removed from the film. Damn, oh my god. it's that's fucking that bad. Bad. It's that bad. Damn, oh god! Please right, tell me go. they didn't. Please tell me they failed. <laughs> <laughs> no, they Please. tried to halt the distribution, but I think it was too late. Oh yes. Oh, we can't. Boot, boot. Where can we even find this? <laughs> I bet you. I bet you it was released straight to bootleg DVD. <laughs> bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> you could only get it in like Marcy Park. Like, straight to the streets of Soho. <laughs> like like Marcy Park and like Williamsburg and like Jeez, the yeah. Bronx. That's all you can get. Yeah, that's all you can get. There. Was like was like on a blanket on the side of the street. That's it. <laughs> you do get some cra- crazy videos when I. That's how on I the watch the street. Oh yeah, like no. you get some like. Some pretty decent ass bootleg my, my movies fr- on the side of the street. My friend Nick, that's the only way he watches movies is bootlegs on the side of the street. Yep, that's how he used to do it in New York. Yep, exactly. That's where I got some I got, of mine. I got Texas Chainsaw before it came on DVD. On the fucking all, right. all right, Dylan. <laughs> all right, so let's fucking move forward. The next movie. The next movie. <sighs> what Haunting did we watch? In Connecticut. The Haunting in Connecticut. I what hated, a pile of I piece hated of shit. every now, second of now this. Now the reason this movie makes this list is because the movie is basically about a young boy who has cancer. Who has cancer and. Oh no! Why do they have to move? Because closer to the hospital. It's closer yes. to the hospital. It's closer and to the his hospital. Treatment where, where was he's taking doing, too much out of he's him. He's doing like testing. Yeah. It's like for a new type of cancer treatment. It's not like it's experimental. It's experimental. So they need to be closer to the hospital because he can't really make it back and forth to drive. So they find a new house. It is too big and too cheap. <laughs> too Why big. Is it too that's cheap? Re- that's no, real- it wasn't too cheap. It was actually more than they. Uh, she made because remember, there's a scene where she goes, "Why well, made the executive decision? Because you weren't here." And it was, I think it was a little bit, m- it wasn't like overpriced, but it was definitely, she just said yes. To I'm going to, I'm going to say it's cheap for what got, it was. She got her first I, one Okay. I because agree. there's a rule. There's real estate rule. Number one, if it's big and it's cheap, it's haunted. <laughs> That's a fact. It's on an, it's on an Indian burial ground or like the basement's a door to hell <laughs> or like the basement wall is lined with heads or yes. something. Yeah. That's a, that's for sure. I want that to be my basement. Nope. Um, I kind of like the beginning. Yeah, the beginning too. with all is, the shots, the of beginning, like the dead bodies. That was cool. I like. I like when it goes to like the mortuary scenes and the whole yeah. séance scenes. The one of the me- more effective scenes was the uh, the body carving in the eyelid clipping. Yeah, yeah. Clipping I thought that was very cringy intense. and really good. But overall, like this Yo, movie sucks. Shit popped off right when they moved in. Yeah, yeah they, they did not hesitate. Shit like, from popped the off right away. It oh was yeah, like, it was like we're not going to give you two days to get settled. It's like. Oh, your mattress is on the ground. Sick. Here come the ghosts. Here comes the ghosts. Like, like the woman just told her husband that they just moved in. Yeah. And meanwhile, she's on the phone. Homeboy is getting haunted. And haunted in a weird way. Haunted where it's hallucinations and like he's you're almost wondering if it's real or not because they keep telling him like, oh, if you're seeing things, you need to let us know because that's one of the side effects of this medication. And which we is need a good, to know. which is a good side plot in a yeah, way. Yeah, so it kind of yeah. makes you wonder like, oh, is he actually being haunted or is he just? And that makes it and that makes it harder for the other characters to believe him. Yes, because they all know about the side effects. Plus, they can't tell the doctor because they don't want him off the treatment. Exactly. So it, cre- um, it it creates a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, which is which is kind of which is kind of nice. So I pose a question: yeah. If you were to move into a house, and the back there was a basement, and the door was locked, and eventually it opened, and it was the mortuary, 
Would you stay in the house? Yeah, absolutely. You move into well, who, the mortuary. Well, who chooses yeah. who chooses the basement with the mystery room attached to the basement as the their room? The fucking weirdo with cancer. The weirdo with cancer. <laughs> that's that's, the, that's the so weir- true. The weirdo with cancer. Because, well, like, <laughs> no, nah, this room works. I'm like, First of all, that's a horrible thing to call him. Second of all, <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst thing. That is a horrible hey, he, thing. Hey, he that, picked the basement, like, all right? Like a mean, that's like a mean kid riding by on a bike and pointing at a mean kid with cancer. <laughs> weirdo kid with cancer. His name is Matt. <laughs> But by the way, he, he was he was the kid in Fuck Red State. Man. Yeah, he, he was. was. He also gets cured at the end of the movie. So that 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 kid is that 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 kid's a good actor. No, he yeah, really he is. is. It's just his role the writing. Also, Red State he was, was also in Found Destination Three. Yeah, and this the writing in this movie just is just awful. That yeah. you weren't gonna save this movie because of the writing. <laughs> um, the flash- no, I just mean like the well, only thing that was effective was the flashback scenes. For yes, me. no, That's the same. I like the 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 dumb waiter scene was kind of scary. Where the kid goes in the dumb waiter. That's true. Yeah. That was pretty scary. It was almost like six cents ish. Yeah. In a way, but like that the the thing was behind them didn't really move. They did a lot of cool things like that. I thought the scene where the but bird it was jump scary where the fuck. bird hit the window and was flapping underneath the bed. Yeah. Yes. That was pretty intense. It does it does have effective scares. Um, yeah. Some which, there was a pretty good sen- there was a pretty good constant sense of dread throughout the entire movie. I think that yeah. was just like the overlying theme. This dread was just, like it was just the dread. biggest part about that movie. And I'm I'm skipping past a middle note because I want the middle note to be my last note. Okay, because there's a I remember this movie. I remember this movie being scary when I first watched. Oh it. yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty too. sure I saw this movie in theaters when it came out. Yeah, same here. Yeah, One I mean the, it was definitely a little heavy on the jump scares. The oh, it definitely was the, the quietness. The, the quietness into the, all right, be scared now. <laughs> a dead person behind you. Oh. Yeah. No, I don't the like. screeching music when the, you ever saw it. Yeah. Or the ectoplasm. I thought yeah. that was dumb. The whole, like. <laughs> but, it's, but it's ectoplasm. It's, I mean, it, it, that's what he was after. Dude, there was lightning in the ectoplasm. Yeah. Ne- necromancy, bro. <laughs> that's <laughs> never touched on. Damn. That's true. Um, I mean, it's it's kind of it been done un- better. But I it's kind of like. unique in a way that he's that he's using the uh, he's using these people as harvesters for ectoplasm. It's the only way he can get it. And the dude's like trying real fucking hard to get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I will give him that. I just it just looks bad. <laughs> it well, just I mean, looks it, so bad. It what was, was it two thousand nine. Yeah, it was a kind of under budget two thousand and nine movie. Yeah. It really didn't get a lot of. Yeah. Exposure. Um, Apparently, it's based off a true story. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. another thing of this movie this is like loosely. another uh, that, Ed, Ed and Lorraine. Movie. Yeah, that was the uh, the based on true. That was like in the midst of the true story cash grabs. Yeah, yeah, like you just throw that shit on every fucking movie. Yeah, and it was like you're gonna make millions. The part where he takes the remains out though, and the boy turns around, and that thing is staring at him through the window. That part is really unsettling. Yeah, yeah. The like fact it, that you find you bodies in the wall yeah. was pretty unsettling. Well, I that mean, was kind of cool. Just having him staring at that the boy, was like cool when he was like freaking out. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, like you find you find out that like later on, like the, the, he makes friends with the preacher who's getting the cancer treatment mm-hmm. too. That guy's a good actor. Yeah, he yeah. is a good actor. Um, and he's trying to help the boy, and he's telling him like, oh, well, all this shit's popping off. Uh, you know, y'all need to fuck Pop out of here. Two broken legs. And, um. So he comes and he finds the remains of the boy that they think is a demon. Yeah. And he takes it out. And then. All hell breaks loose. He suddenly realizes. He goes, oh, no. He was the good one. All that's left in the house is Is the evil spirits. Evil spirits. But here's the thing. That's when you're like, oh, shit. It's about to go down. All that happens is like. She gets attacked by, like Doctor Strange's cape style. Yeah, yeah. This thing wraps around the chick from Silicon Valley. Yep, yep. She gets wrapped in the shower curtain, and that's the only bad thing that happens. Nothing. I, yeah. Then the the guy comes in all Jack Torrance style with an axe. The boy comes in. Oh yeah, dude, shining yeah. all the way. Yeah. Shining like, all the way. Even that scene when she closes the door and he does the axe and she screams and it comes through. I was like, one hundred percent, you stole this from The Shining. Yeah. So it's like that's and then like he he burns the house down. And like the mom runs in to save him, you know, she starts praying to God. And it's like, is this becoming like a very religious movie? Yeah, which you know, whatever, you know, good defeat, good defeats evil. That's the that's the main premise throughout these kind of movies. So it is what it is. And they get rescued, whatever. But then like they say some shit like, you know, he was cured of the cancer. Yep, which is good, good for him if you're listening. <laughs> which it probably isn't, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I just say these things in case, you know. You, you never, never know. know. You never know. Um, you could be out there listening. You know, in the darkness of five years room. down the road, he might be like, oh, this, I was in this movie. <laughs> or but um, and then the house was apparently re- rebuilt and resold. But the, whoever lives there now says nothing bad's happened. 
Oh, but there's a second Haunting in Connecticut movie. That one's probably not even real, though. Of course it's not. No, it's, it's, it's a real movie, but... I mean, it's a real movie, but not like... The <laughs> oh, no, it's it literally, it. like, because there's, like, a Haunting in Georgia and shit like that. Like, all the of Haunting in <laughs> Interstate became a thing after this movie was all released. Of, all of Georgia's haunted. <laughs> I'm not it. haunted. Georgia. Georgia, not George. Well, I just thought I'd throw it out there. That I'm all of Georgia's haunted. <laughs> all of Georgia. All, which part? All of um, all, all I mean, toes. I, 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 it's it's okay. It's an okay movie. Yeah. It's just cheap jump scares. It's just a cheap jump scares. I'm glad I'm like convincing him from I hated it to it's okay. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. I still despise it. I'll never so watch it again. So it's, well, I won't either. And do y'all want to know so why? So why are we watching the second why? one? Whenever. Here we go. <laughs> I know. I, ha- I have the I have the scene. Is this the middle? For, you, no. Is this the middle note? Uh, well, there's the scene where the mom, who's not a bad actress, no, was having the scene, the part where she's crying. Like, so much shit's going on. I don't want my son to die. Mm-hmm. You know, I, so much is she happening. And you beats. feel so bad for her. And then you see the dad with the projector. And he's like, you know, he had to sell his truck, his cool truck. That guy's a you know? dick, though. Well, yeah. yeah he has the dad, dude. Well, I mean, he's not a dick. Like He came over there drunk. Well, he was, Why are all the lights off? Well, he was he drunk. the light bulbs well, for he no was, reason. Well, he was drunk. Just turn off the lights. That's his reason. He was drunk. He can't uh, control himself. Do you unscrew <laughs> all the light bulbs when you're drunk? No, you turn off the fucking lights. That you don't want to know. I, you don't want to know what I do when I'm drunk. No, I know what you do. You <laughs> well, giggle you. uncontrollably <laughs> about nothing. I mean, I'm just here to have a good time. All right. <laughs> but I, no, I, I just like, like the fun. fact that he threw all the light bulbs in the sink, and I was kind of like, that seems a bit excessive. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's kind of ridiculous. And, like, then, and then he had the nerve to try to hug her and be like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. I to, like, but no, but no. Then they cut. But he's looking at the pictures, and then it cuts back to the woman crying again, and you're like, damn, this is sad. But then it cuts back to the dad, <laughs> <laughs> who's just playing, playing, playing the guitar, guitar. <laughs> he, dude, with I've a never bottle seen... of vodka, and he has like this little combo amp, and he's like not even playing notes. It's like ring, <laughs> ring, ring, and he's just like uh, strumming on this guitar, just drunk. and then fucking goes ape shit on his own house, crying like uh, <laughs> it's like he, he's, <laughs> not, he's not even playing a sad song. He just goes. <laughs> He's just like, like uh, he I just, suck at guitar, he too. Play, he's just playing it. He's like, the one thing I do to relieve my stress, I can't even do. <laughs> so he just, like, smashes the vodka bottle, smashes the amp with the guitar, just keeps crying, and then goes on a hilarious, honey, I'm home and I'm wasted tyrant. Okay, yeah, it's like, no, it's literally what it does. Are the lights on? <laughs> Damn lights. Paying for two mortgages. <laughs> yeah, I'm paying for two fucking mortgages. <sighs> that guy. Yeah. I, I, what has he been in? Nothing. Dude, he's been nothing. in Saw. Really? Because he looks like he, he was in Saw. He was in Saw. That's where I remember. He him look. From. He looks like a guy that would be in like a commercial for like alopecia or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I think I don't think I can talk about this movie anymore. Yeah, don't do it. Don't watch it. Yeah, like if you haven't seen this movie, don't, don't just don't bother. Don't do it to yourself. It's not. It's not <laughs> there necessary. are better don't, ghost don't movies out there to watch this movie. There is that's yeah, that's no a funny story. Four out of ten. That is not a funny <laughs> story. Yeah, four out of ten is a good rating. I I agree. I kind of just want to say, uh, for me personally, either watch it or don't watch it. All right, cool. Because like, you can come up with your own thing. <laughs> I mean, what would I give it? Like, I don't know, a five. Yeah, sure. You, you know, I for... give it a meh. <laughs> a meh. <laughs> five. Sure. It doesn't even get a, a solid a meh. I don't meh. care. <laughs> Make up your rules. I'm just gonna say this is chaotic, and I fucking love I'm it. I'm just gonna say don't watch <laughs> it. Don't watch don't it. watch it. Or watch they, it. Because you could say a five, and they could still be like, well, it, it is a five. Like, No, no, no. It's watch it. No, it's you, you, I want everyone to watch it. Yeah. No, don't, don't listen to I give it a like, one because I watch it. $4 to watch, watch it. it. Watch listen it. to Matt, me, Patrick and me. <laughs> watch oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. George had to spend money on this. Yeah, George had to spend money <laughs> so on this. So we all had Why? links. I, put, I literally just I typed it on the computer. And literally, we all had links to watch this movie. And for some reason, on all four of my devices, I could not get The Haunting in Connecticut. I think that was a sign. So yeah, I know. I almost, should, uh, I almost said, you know what? I'm just not going to watch it. Maybe yeah, you listen to the some, signs. some, some positive but force said, on you the know other what? side did not want you to have to waste. I'm, I'm going to be a good person and pay this money to go watch this I don't great think movie. Get that, money that wasn't you being a good person. It was you being a person without any, with the last effort. <laughs> like, there you are had, no other you options. Had no here. other options. You know what? At least yeah, because you said you didn't watch it, you wouldn't be on today's podcast. Exactly. But well, you're in my house. Anyways. <laughs> no, that's exactly what happened. We would set up, and then you're like, did you see the movie? You say no, and then we're like, well, I want to cut the circuit breaker, and Shaggy would have had to come you turn on. You could have just like, went and like, took a shit or something while we <laughs> talked about the movie. Yeah. I don't know. 
You still could have been on. You're not getting your money back. Yeah, you're not getting your money back. Not your money, your time, nothing. That, Happiness has been out the window you had for you, friend. <laughs> All right, so let's like fucking move on to the third movie, a movie I've never seen. I know I've never seen. I've never either. seen it either. The Sentinel, 1977. What? This a movie was worth four dollars. Awesome movie, <laughs> dude. This movie is fucking. Which wild. one were we supposed to watch? <laughs> 2009 with a uh, with uh, Michael. <laughs> Ke- no, uh, what's his fucking name? It was an action movie, right? Yeah. yeah. No, and I saw that. I was Michael like, Douglas. Like Michael, Michael Douglas, Douglas, and I was like, why does oh, Dylan yeah. want us to watch this? This is like <laughs> a horror movie. Yeah. But then I found it. It's got fucking Jeff Goldblum in it. Well, hold it. on. It has, I, oh, got 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 a cast. I got a fucking. I got a whole. William Defoe well, in it. Well, Nineteen seventy-seven. William Defoe's not William Defoe. Fucking. Well, listen. Um, well, listen. Don't mislead him. What's his don't name? Mis- don't mislead him because you're going to walking. Because you're going to say they're in the movie, but they're Walken. really not in it. No, they're not. They're really it. not. They're side actors. I have. That's true. I have a whole bunch oh, of notes on this movie. You know that all of Jeff Goldblum's lines, except for one, were dubbed over. Of course. Of course. Fun fact. I did not know that. It doesn't matter. It's Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Oh, the his face is enough, but apparently his face I picked isn't. this movie because forever ago I saw it on a Bravo 100 Scariest Movies countdown. Oh, my God. And what the fuck? It was number 46. Why are you watching Bravo? Because <laughs> this was awesome. <laughs> One, it's a you good know, show. He said Bravo, and I thought about the Spanish supermarket. I was like, Because I like, cause I like drama, like, oh. for one. <laughs> He's a drama junkie. I like Andy Cohen. Um, I <laughs> New, do podcast. Li- I do, New podcast. New podcast coming oh, trust me, I do, I do love my... Uh, my uh, Drama filled reality shows like that. I do love those. True. I like Degrassi, so. Yeah, see? Okay. So, I got, I got um, getting off the, the role here. This was like, this was like almost, this has been over 10 years ago. Since it's an old show, but they had a lot of good movies on it, and this was one of them. And I was like, oh, that'd be a cool movie to watch. And it, isn't it, it was it was weird. It got batshit crazy towards the end. I was like, what the yes, fuck is going on? I didn't know what to expect. So, the, going into the tagline the movie, of the movie, there's two taglines actually. The best one is the there. There must forever be a guardian of the gates of hell. I love that one. And then she was young. She, she was, was beautiful. beautiful. She, she was, was next, next. which is also sick. Dun, dun, yes. Dun, so yes. like, what this movie follows is like this model who she's had an accident where she tried to kill herself back in the t- back in the day. Oh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, she she's been with this guy for so long, and he wants to get married, and she's not really ready. So. She wants to get her own place, but really can't afford some of the places she's looking oh, at. Oh, her fucking rent. Where it's in New York, and it's like four hundred dollars no, a month. Yeah, well, no, it was, it was five hundred. It was five hundred, and they yeah. dropped it down to four hundred, which made it. I mean, back then but was back a lot then of money. It was a lot of money, yeah. Um, so she she moves into this place, and it's just her Brooklyn, and Heights then apartment. this fucking old blind priest that lives upstairs. Stares out the window. Nothing wrong with that. Blind priest. Let me tell you right now. When the real the estate agent um, automatically drops the price from five hundred to four hundred, you know something's up. Something's up. Dylan like, said it best. If it's big and yeah, cheap, yeah, especially a brown, profit. especially a brownstone. Yeah, this yeah. house was. Could creepy. you imagine getting a brownstone now in Brooklyn Heights for four hundred dollars a month? Yeah, you you would fully furnished. You would mind you, you fully would, furnished. You would you risk, know what? You I would, will take those four hundred dollars and love my closet. I know friends who would risk demons <laughs> to get that to get that kind of to get that kind yeah. of. Yeah, rent. look, she's sitting right here on the floor. It's Mike's wife. Yeah, she she literally she would sell my soul in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, to get that rent at the uh, end of brownstone. Fun fact: the movie was directed by. Uh, Michael Winner. He, he also got he also got in trouble for making this movie. He wrote it. He wrote the movie. He produced he? it and mm-hmm. he directed it. I got notes on that too. Towards yeah, the he end. got in trouble because uh, no, don't say why because it's the ending. All right, yeah, <laughs> but all right, oh, damn it, I, I did read, I did read that. Um, yeah, you, you know uh, the score wasn't that memorable, but you know who was originally supposed to do the score? Our man John Carpenter, John Williams, John John Williams. That'd John be crazy. John Williams, Williams was supposed what to do the, the score. F- for where did this movie and, get this? Ca- and, and, and you mean, know you know why cast. he didn't do the movie. Why? Because he went to go work for George Lucas. Oh, Damn. I mean, listen, yeah, I mean, he definitely chose listen, better. This cast, which I will talk about at the end, was like getting stud running backs and wide receivers like in the late round draft. We don't like make sports football. reference on the show. I do, virgins. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and Pat are so lost. I'm like, I don't know. I don't. He just said words. Fucking, like Let's sports. put it this way. I got he Alvin said Kamara. words, and I'm like, all right, sure. I got Alvin Kamara last right. year in the 13th round. So, yeah, it's a pretty big fucking deal, okay? <laughs> when the fuck do we have a chat on the show? I don't know. But any hey, listen. I mean, that's hey, not if true. anybody out there likes football, let's do a horror junkie. Hey, I, hey, shut up. I won five hundred. Shut up. I won. Right I won five hundred dollars. Turn the mic last year, so I kiss will. my ass now. But yeah, uh, Michael Winner. Yeah. Directed. He's more. Michael he's, Wiener. He's more known for. Uh, he did Death Wish one and two. Yeah. Yeah. Charles Bronson. 
fame. Very, very mm. good movies. Um, but like you can watch the movie and you can kind of tell it's like a post Exorcist cash grab. Oh, one hundred percent, literally. Like what well, Exorcist sure. came out in what nineteen seventy something out there. What the Exorcist? Yeah, I don't know. I can't. <laughs> exactly. Look, y'all yelling at me for talking about football, but this guy doesn't know when the movie came out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing on this show. We're always wrong. Yeah, cheap brownstones equals haunted, most likely portal to hell. More, That's what I wrote likely. down. Yeah. Well, there's also yeah. a creepy fucking old guy in the fucking top of the stairwell. Like, come on. Yeah, but like he doesn't bother anybody. Does he's he? Gonna, he's there, he's just staring out the window, bothering me. Yeah, but you he's can't, blind. He can't see. <laughs> yeah, can he? Just don't look up when you walk into the house. Yeah. Yeah, that's all that matters. Mm. But yeah, so she moves into, she wants to move into her own spot. She wants her independence, which is fine. Yeah. I mean, you like know? I said, she's been Good with that guy you, for girl. two years and she wants to be by herself. You know, do it, you, boo boo? Yeah. Do she, you. It, she's independent. She's got her own money, her own thing going on. If she doesn't want to fainting, she doesn't want to depend on a man. And who does? He had a sick mustache. Oh my ass. <laughs> 1973. So, yeah. He had a nice mustache. He, he did. did have an he did. He also had a uh, dark past or dark life, dark side, because he, he like knew some shit. Yeah, which like he was like, uh, questioned about killing his first wife, who committed suicide. My dude's been married once before. Yes, he was married uh, once before. Didn't he kind of look like Tony Stark's dad? He sure did. did. He sure yeah. did. Okay, good. I'm not crazy to him. No, um, I thought that when I saw when I saw it too. I think the where the things start getting weird is when she finally moves into the house and. The old guy with the parakeet and the and the cat come over, and she's talking to him. And then he picks up that picture and he's like talking about something and whatever. He puts the picture down. He finally leaves. She goes to pick the picture up, and it's him. And it kind of like, I have notes on. And him. it kind of like yeah. leaves you to be like, hmm. was he actually here? What the fuck? Yeah. Why I is there love, a picture of him if he lives in another house? Well, I love when she's looking for the house, and she gets the phone call from her mom that her dad is sick. Oh yeah. In the seventies, you had no time. To, to develop that story, he was, he, my mom called, he's sick, you're in the hospital, he's writhing for like two seconds, bam, Damn. funeral. Dead. Funeral. Yeah. That's it. Flashback to her dad having sex with like oh, two yeah. young women. With and cake? They, with cake? What the fuck was that scene? Yeah, I, I wrote, yeah, no one wants to see their dad in na- naked at a cake orgy, <laughs> let alone get slapped by him when he's naked. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Literally, he's like, I, 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 ain't, I ain't putting my trousers on to discipline this harlot. Like the series of events here, she's at the funeral, flashback, cake orgy, gets hit by her dad while he's naked, Slicker tries wrist. to kill herself. Yeah, yeah that was a really like, holy that was a really shit. Done, that was, that a really, was all within like three minutes. That was a really well done uh, flashback though, because it's like she's watching, she sees, like she stares out the window, and like that's when her flashback starts of her like coming home to that incident. Yeah, and then he walks in and like, yeah, so it's like it's like total like. Sinful. Don't decadent. watch this high. <laughs> but that, but that, play, that, that, plays, did. That, that plays in the movie later. <laughs> it does. That plays in the movie later because he's committing like one of like 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 several se- several deadly sins. Yeah. But he's having the cake orgy and he's naked and he's like, get out! And he gets up butt naked. No one wants. No one wants to get smacked by their dad when he's naked. <laughs> I During mean, a cake orgy and a cake orgy, I mean, doesn't a cake orgy just sound wonderful though? <laughs> sure depends does. on the cake. Actually, depends on the cheesecake. Cake. No, does it really if it though? Was pie, I'm all in. I mean, like cheesecake. It, yeah. Oh god, oh, that, sounds, stick eater. that sounds extra dirty. <laughs> 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 That's dirty, dirty. Like I could be like, hey, the stickier hey, the better. Hey, oh, Dylan, you, hey Dylan, you want to come to the cake orgy? What flavor? German chocolate. Fuck, fine, I guess. <laughs> like, that's the only time I wouldn't be. I would be kind of bummed about it <laughs> if I was like in an orgy and I was like, oh, a coconut, and then like, <laughs> but I was still hanging around, just Dude. laughing it up. I just, I you can't, know? I can't. This, like, I mean, I love it because it works. Like, it works so well. The way it's like, so about, like, transitioning from, like, her looking out the window to it turning back into time. It right. works well, and it does yeah. correlate back. It was well shot. And this is, and then she starts meeting her neighbors. Oh God! She, oh, that, well, you start talking fucking, about him. Oh, the, the lady fucking, stuff. No, the hold lady. on, hold on. Charles Chasen. Yes. Can we all say that minus the evil part? We wish he was our neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Charles Chasen. <laughs> great guy. Well, darling, you have impeccable taste. <laughs> like he's so lovely. He had a parakeet named In Mortimer, a- and a cat named Jezebel. <laughs> that was so sick. And he, he threw goes a party and, for his kitty. You know, he's just so. He's just so. Uh-huh. Aha! Yeah. Everything. Full, full he's so life. flamboyant and just like so happy, and like he had the little specks. 
Yes, and he was I just, loved him. He loved the decor, and just just like a guy that like you could see yourself like hanging out with in your apartment building. Yeah, you know? I Charles agree. Chasen was an awesome dude for sure. Now let's talk about the Funlin uh, <laughs> sisters, the, le- the lesbians, oh, the yes. lesbian couple downstairs, the lesbian couple. The older one was kind of hot. Yeah. Okay. She but the younger one the had one a weird thing when she jerked off in front of you, so. <laughs> She she staring really, at you, rubbing her sta- shit. Does it make it worse? Does it make it worse that you find out that that was uh, M- Beverly D'Angelo who played Mrs. Griswold in the <laughs> Vacation movies? Yes, <laughs> yes. No, no, I puked it only a makes it who, better. Who, who <laughs> wants who wants to watch? Who wants to watch Mrs. Griswold start a fire down there? No <laughs> one. No one. That scene was that. It was effective in the sense that it was. It made you cringe. Cause she's just like it was she's awkward. like it was staring. Creepy. She's like staring she at stayed, her. She yeah, stayed but, to but the she, climax. Yeah, vigorously. she stayed. She she didn't want to be rude. She was going no. to tell. She said, "Well, listen. She's setting a precedent for her being the new neighbor. Like, well, if I leave now, <laughs> it's just rude. They won't like me. <laughs> I guess I ought to let her finish. It's like watching a dog hump a leg. It's like just let him finish. It was <laughs> so weird. It was like she like the face she made. She was just like it was intense." Yeah. You just yeah. those and she just got up, like once it was <laughs> it done. She's like, I, 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 "I'm out, I'm out, I'm going upstairs. I can't." And then he come, the old guy comes back in, and he's like, "Got the box full of party hat supplies," and then it goes to the cat party, oh, which well, was the best the, scene. The, in the, the, the cat movie. party was one of the best scenes in cinema history. Literally, the white. cat was wearing a party hat. <laughs> he threw a party for his cat Jezebel. And that cat sat in a chair with a hat. I know. And How did they do that? Did you just say that to rhyme, or did you just do that by accident? Did it rhyme? Yeah. What did I say? Where's you my said cat? said something with the hat. You said oh. cat with the hat or something like that. Oh, he threw what? a party for his cat, and his cat wore a party <laughs> hat. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I didn't even know. All right, someone grab my cat. We're putting uh, a hat yeah. on her. What, you mean good old Grumps? Good old then he played the Gills. And, and, tra- and, and he was turning up. Oh, he yeah. was. He don't, was getting turned Don't make up. no mistake. Charles Chasen was turning the fuck up. And then this sure is was. polka the, music, and everyone was getting oh. down. They sang happy birthday. Only the last half, though. Yeah. Only the last half, though. They they didn't say they, they He started, he goes, everyone sing. And he goes, happy birthday, dear <laughs> Jezebel. And that's it. You have no, yeah. When you're trying to get down, you got to cut shit in half. <laughs> There's only so much you can do with the party. I just, and that's when shit starts getting bizarre. Because, like, that's when she starts, like, that night is when she hears the footsteps, correct? Above that her? That night, yes. right after the party is when she starts hearing the footsteps. footsteps. And she gets spooked, and she calls the people. She has the lunch with the real estate agent or the owner of the building. Right. Um, and she goes, you know, I heard footsteps and so-and-so from 4B and all this stuff. She's like, what are you talking about? Nobody's You're the only the person years. that lives there except for the guy upstairs who's up like two floors above her. He's at the top floor. So that's when shit starts hitting you. You're like, and you also got these like, motherfuckers aren't real. You They're al- ghosts. And then you also got like the creepy church people doing their thing yeah. on the side. That was kind of an omen bite. Yeah, yeah. The it, it definitely Italian pulled churches. from a lot of the yeah. effective horror it movies. It just reminded me of like, so like Rosemary's they're Baby. They're up to something. Exactly. I definitely like, got Rosemary's like Baby. Like they're up vibes. to something, and then you've realized that it's a, a blind preacher upstairs. So it's like you're kind of like. Starting to realize that, like, all the creepy things going on with the church in the background. Yeah. He's got a weird ring on his hand. Yep. Who knows? And then you started to realize more and more, it's like, well, then the boyfriend starts to help out a lot. Yeah. And that's when they, like, he eventually, like, breaks but then, in. But then you find out, but then you find out that, like, he, his first wife died. Yeah. You know, suicide, I guess, or whatever. So it's like you're starting suicide. To, but he's helping Air out quotes. so much. Sweet and suit. you got all these people, and some are, and like, Charles Chase is clearly off his rocker. Yeah. yeah, to me in a great way. I still want to be his friend, <laughs> but <laughs> still want to be his friend. Yes, because and it was like, uh, do you mind if I use your phone in case of emergencies? He goes, Oh, darling, I'm terribly sorry, but I don't have a phone. Even if I did, who would I call? And like, yeah. walked out, and you're just like, man, that man is flamboyant <laughs> and all kinds of fun. And I want to hang out with Charles Jason, but like, you don't know who's on what side. No, you don't. And I like the 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 cool when he finally like the boyfriend breaks into the church and they find all the records. Yeah. Um. And it's like so and so committed suicide the next day reborn priest or I, none and it went back and back and back. I and love back. that scene. That was cool. I like. The, I love like, that to the scene point where there was just a drawing. It wasn't even a picture. I also like oh, the scene I mean, where she cuts makes, her dad's nose off. Oh, oh my god. My we're, we're, god. Ba- we're, we're bouncing all over. It's yeah, okay. It's okay because that, that's a whole scene that that demands like explanation. Sure that does. scene um, definitely is uh, was Insidious ripped Be- off. Well, oh really? Insidious. From the future? Oh, oh no. I thought you said it ripped no, Insidious. Insidious ripped it. 
took that from uh, oh, from yeah. this movie. Well, because, because she, like because she hears she, the footsteps again. Yeah, so she goes to investigate, and then there's a scene where her flashlight goes out. And oh my god! I know behind the, the door. worst fucking time for flashes to go out. Uh, behind the door is a shadow figure, which eerily looks like the and the scene camera from does, and the camera doesn't move. No, it stays stationed, and then the apparition moves across the room and towards it's like the, towards the camera. Yeah, so very it's, unsettling. Yeah, it was very intense. It was really good. A really good scene. Uh, probably know, one of the best scenes of know, this movie. Another another movie that does something along the lines of that is VHS. Yeah. Where they oh, do the yeah. webcam one, and the little oh, yeah. boy runs in. It's almost like driving behind a car that stops with no brake lights. Well, it's you like get that weird feeling. You can't. Well, the thing is, you can't do anything about it. So if the camera, it's like that. Like you're like you're driving in the sense, and there's something coming at you, but you can't turn the car because you're watching a movie. Like <sighs> so you have this thing running at you, and you're like, oh shit, and it kind of gets you. You're like, oh fuck, it moved because you think it's just a ghost, the but ha- it's yeah, an that- actual. That scene Person. is very crazy. Yeah, like yeah. The, she the, cuts it. You can tell he, it was like very. He, yeah, he pans across the room into the darkness, and she's like, "What do you want?" And I'm like, "No, nah, it's not the time to ask." <laughs> I'd ask in the morning with um, like six other people. She, <laughs> she cut like so. She attacks him, attacks him. She stabs him in the arm. But, but you can is, tell it was very delayed. But guys, yeah. who is she stabbing? Oh, we, her father. We her father. About, yeah. A da, 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 ghostly da. rotting corpse version of her father. Yeah, it's her dad. Stabs her Dude, his eye. That whole scene. Is that just, was a rip off too. Yeah. Oh, not 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 so much the scene like like it's the style. Yeah. It yeah, was those like those got ripped off. Yeah. There's there's that there's an Italian director named his name is uh, Lucio Fulci. Mm-hmm. He does like he does zombie like, like Beyond and stuff like that. He did zombie, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he it's just like very graphic, like cuts the nose off, cuts the eye out slowly too, very yeah. slowly. But like they do that on purpose. Yeah, it's more intense. Well, they do that on purpose. They show you what's getting cut off because then the police get involved after that where she claims she killed a person yeah and it was her father then they find a body a week later with the same exact nose cut off and the eye cut in like an abandoned lake yeah side so it like, makes you starting to junkyard. wonder like shit did she actually kill someone yeah, she or? did for well, sure well, what's the oh, thing is like right before that like her like husband or fiance or whatever like her boyfriend like didn't he like send a friend to investigate the house and like you see him walking towards the house, but Did you he? never see him again. Yes, I don't remember him sending yeah, he, a friend. Um, yeah, he sends. Yeah, he gets a friend. He's oh, like, the guy who he keeps calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that's so right. Like, yeah. Yeah. And like you see him approaching the apartment, but you never see anything of it. And that same night, lo- she starts hearing their footsteps. So it's like hmm. she just like oh, things, that's, but it was the, actually that's the one him. who she kills. Yeah, yeah. So yeah I didn't. Think, I didn't. I didn't put that together. Very nice. Um, so, one of the things that like where shit starts getting bizarre is towards the end of the movie. Shit starts getting weird. You definitely don't want um, this line. Um, well, uh, yeah, it's, it's just like so. All the goblins. So the the main old guy is like. Well, I do love I do love the friend, the lockpick guy, lock pick. where oh, he starts yeah. asking questions. He goes, "I just open doors." And yeah, like, walks opened, away. Yeah. <laughs> like that man knows when to hold him and when to fold him. Yeah, he's like, "Fuck this! I'm not getting involved." Like, I, hey, I, I just opened the shit. I don't fucking um, get into it. But I like that the main entity, the demon priest priest yeah. guy he's not really the priest he's well, just the, the old guy well he finds well he finds out that the plot basically that what they're trying to do is like he puts two and two together that the person that all the people that she's seen at the house were someone who was alive killers. serial, serial killers. killers or like people who have like committed murders and stuff and then died and, and then, then died became someone yeah and like that woman made the line at the at the cat's birthday party said black cat black and white cat black and white cake yeah i wonder if that means anything i don't know this movie's bad <laughs> <laughs> i do not like this movie it, it it's not awesome i, it's I not, enjoyed it's, it's, it it's a very okay movie it was interesting i enjoyed it it is it is a five-star drive-in movie yes yeah i i, I enjoyed it yeah. I thought it was crazy i thought it had L- some of the acting was kind of like eh, whatever well it's 77 um, so, but yeah. I mean, there's some great movies, man. Well, he's well. The guy find the the boyfriend finds out that basically she, they're gonna make her kill herself. Yes, to that, become the next watcher of the re- no. The it's gates? no. It's it's the nun. The, okay, no. I, I I watched this movie like four hours ago, so it's still kind of fresh in my brain. I watched what happened. it two days ago. But he goes in there and then he finds the because there's like a boarded up sign at the beginning. Yes, and then it's got this thing that says "Abandon all hope, ye who enter." Yes, basically you start to realize that it's a the house is a portal to hell. Correct. The house is a portal to hell. So they put the priest upstairs to kind of yeah. and then he deal with then it. Then he tries to kill the priest because the priest isn't telling him anything, and then the boyfriend gets killed. Yes. 
Then the woman goes into the house. Well, he tried to choke out the priest. And then basically, baseball. yeah. And then basically, <laughs> that seems so funny. Charles chasing uh, the boyfriend. She starts to realize that he's not who he is. Yes. And then he says the line, um, "I am one of the legion." Yes. So he becomes I am one a of demon. the legion. Then he basically comes forth and says, "I did kill my wife." Y- yes. Because he killed dead. my wife. And then Charles Chasing <laughs> comes out, and then all these ghouly goblin things come out. Yeah. Goblins and weird looking. And things. this is where the Pat, director. Yeah. And this is where the director gets in trouble he for what? Up. Because he used actual like disabled people. Freaks. And, like, yeah. Quote unquote. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yes. And they he were got in a lot of trouble for like. It. Which I don't see the problem. Things. If they if they sign off on it and they're like cool with it, why not? I mean, it's not like they were. They got their sad card. They got paid. Yeah. They got representation in film. It sure did. Yeah, but it was actual people with like deformations. I thought it was a bunch of. Ma- I thought it was makeup. No, no, those people are real. That's oh, real shit. What the fuck? And it's not like Michael Winter went in there and like kidnapped all these people. And was like, now act or you get it. Like yeah. they oh, signed I'm down this hallway. They no. got paid. They got paid. Yeah. yeah, and they were, and it was like basically this is demons yeah. or like Satan's minions or whatever. So she starts to run up the stairs. To the and just, priest room, and then sees the two lesbian girls. Sees Beverly, De- sees sees Mrs. Griswold eating the face <laughs> of her dead boyfriend. Yes, which is just gross. <laughs> and then, and then the like cake lovers again. She gets all yeah. She goes all the way upstairs to the thing, and then they all start coming out of that back room real fucked up like. Yeah, th- this this is where she gets crazy and weird. Insane. Uh, one of the scenes, the scene that I didn't think probably could have done better is when she the main actress is finally surrounded by all these demons yeah and then the priest and the other preach priest guy comes in and he's just holding the cross and he's just walking through and they're all like grabbing it or something but they're powerless to it yeah and and then i just thought it was kind of ridiculous it could i feel like it could have been done well, be, well, because she was what movie was ridiculous. Well, because, yeah, well, because I, the, I agree. <laughs> basically, what happens is she was chosen by God to be the new sentinel, the new guardian to the gate of hell. Yes. And ah, the wo- there it is. There's a the title <laughs> there. Yeah. The sentinel. Yeah. And then I watch some X-Men the, movies. So the demons are like, kill yourself so you can become one of us. So no one guards the door. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it they, cause makes it, sense. Because if she commits a sin by killing herself. Oh yeah, this movie has a lore. Yeah, because if she she kills herself, she commits the ultimate sin and can't be the guardian of the gate. Oh, okay. And and if and the the priest will die, and there's no one guarding the gate of hell. That was their whole plan. So the dude comes Mm. in, blind guy comes in, barreling at a cool (laughs) negative six miles an hour with a cross. Yeah, because he was moving fucking slow. And so she she saved herself, but at the cost, he was basically like, "Listen, you can either kill yourself or you become the sentinel and you guard the gate." Yeah, and, and when she you, does, your life's over. You, you, there's no more going out to parties or modeling. <laughs> yeah, this is your new job. You know, she becomes the sentinel and she guards the place. They tear it down and rebuild it to look like new, newish, and they move have a new family move in. They have a new family move in, and then they go and they go, "Who's that up on the fifth floor?" And it's like, "Oh, that's just a nun. She's blind and she doesn't She's bother out of her mind." Fun but fact: It's her staring out the, the thing with the, the cross nun. and with the, with the cross. And I thought that was I thought that was fucking awesome. I thought it was fucking awesome. Yeah, it did come full bad. circle. It, it's it, it, it's interesting. It, it's an interesting movie. It's, I will say, like, it, it does obscure. pull. It pulls a lot from different horror movies. It just could have been done fine. It could have been um, done better. Oh, could it have? Oh yeah. What do you think? Well, how could it have been done better? Better acting. Uh, <laughs> for the okay, it's nineteen seventy-seven. I think we should. There's have good actors. Up. There should have been more. There's in every era. Up. There's good actors in this movie. Yeah, I but mean, they, they're not full. The they're not using their potential. How about this? This movie you has get, a lot of potential. You guys watch say it, that. and you tell us if you like it or not. <laughs> yeah, you tell yeah. us if you think the movie could be you better. You argue with Pat. Because guess what? It can be better. Any movie can kind of be better. Of course. You got what you got. I feel like this movie had really cool potential, and it just didn't succeed in that. I, I can see that. I can see where you're coming from. Did, you, has, no, did you notice that the, the credits were only 30 seconds long, and well, it, just, good. It, just, it just mentions the cast? Good. Not, <laughs> not No crew. There's just, no crew. Just the, the cast. Crew. It was one camera guy. That was, was it. one camera it was guy. Michael Winter. Um, <laughs> just Chris for walking, doing everything. That yes, didn't have any literally. lines in the movie. Yeah, because um, there was a lot. I'll tell you. It's like, where did they get all these fucking actors? Because well, I mean, it's the height of their career. It, like, was, it was literally before the beginning. Anything. Yeah, they were before. It was before Jeff Goldblum was the well, fucking fly. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, Je- yeah. Jeff Goldblum's the photographer. Chris Walken's Walken a, a detective. Is, he's like the, the yeah. These the they're partner. nobodies. Yeah. They're, they're just sides. They're side characters. But and you got these other people that went on to do shit or have already done shit. Like uh, the guy who played the boyfriend. 
Yeah. His name is Chris Saradin. Yeah. He was in Child's Play and Fright Night. Yeah, and Kristen Rains. Well, Rins, he's also the voice of Jack Skellington. Yep. Huh. What? The more he's, he's Jack the Skellington. The more you know. Yep. The more and you know. Ava Gardner is in this fucking movie. Yeah. One Listen, of the most, everyone's in this movie. Everyone most, who's big is in a horror movie. One of the most of the beautiful life. women of all uh, actresses of all time is in this movie. Like it's and it's and I mean her last few movies were just she said quote unquote for the loot. For the loot. That you was it. Give it yeah. a loot. But um, tell us what you guys think. Uh, if you watch 13th Ghost, The Haunting of Connecticut, The Sentinel this week. To, Sentinel gets a 3 out of 10. For the podcast. Tell us what you think about what these movies. Charles Chasen was Mickey from Rocky. Sure was. Oh, Jeff Goldblum was an extra mm-hmm. in Death Wish. He was also the penguin in the Adam. Can we stop this? <laughs> I don't like this He's in anymore. the Adam West Batman. He's the penguin in the Adam West Batman movie. Amazing. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead now, isn't he? I don't know. Dylan's not done with his notes. The okay. old guy, right? I have, I have a lot of notes. That's okay. There's more notes. Um, there's more notes. Like I said, let us know what you guys think of these movies because obviously we have a very divided cast. It's okay. Um, we all have opinions. Richard Dreyfus makes a cameo. <laughs> it doesn't end. Is it done? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I I, I wrote stuff down. <laughs> he's got he's got pages. We're not that of, type of podcast. He's got I, wrote, I wrote stuff down instead of being like, "This movie this is sucks. what we do. It could have been better." <laughs> this was Jeff Goldblum. Why? Nice because movie. three out of ten. <laughs> yes, I just think all right, whatever. <laughs> Go watch no, this no, fucking no, movie. No, make no, your own Pat, opinion. No, Pat. What do you think? No, no, it's fine. You already talked. First of all, everyone's ears off. Go ahead, Pat. Do it. I was in the wrong state of mind to watch this movie. I was high, as always. When are you not? When I watched these other two movies, I wasn't high. Oh, I thought so you do thirteen ghost high. No, no. I, I barely watched it when I watched it again because I was like, I watched you know, this like three so weeks, like yeah. three months ago. <laughs> but what are your problems with the Sentinel Pat? Do I really have to go into it? No. I mean, <laughs> I thought we're ending the show. <laughs> he's he's being courteous, but <laughs> really, no one gives a fuck. Um, <laughs> but yeah, think? guys, so let us know what you think. It's okay. Dylan's upset. It's <laughs> no. th- this show's done. No, I tried. <laughs> Dylan liked it. I didn't. That's a, it's okay. Again, I, I was I in the wrong state of mind. I give it a five. Um, it's good. But like I said, tell us who you guys think. I just thought it was a mess. I <laughs> give it a watch it. I give it a, a watch it. Uh, bop it. You know what? Get um, Dylan's phone. I don't know. I want, every, I want everyone to watch it. this movie. Um, everyone needs to watch this movie. Everyone should I mean, watch like, this movie. I agree. I've never seen it, and I've never heard of it before, so I definitely agree that you should definitely watch this movie. Um, it is whatever. I mean, it's got a crazy storyline. And some things don't work, but some things do work. So, like I said, make your own opinion. Let us know what you think. Also, send us your cool, spooky, fun things to horrorjunkiepodcast at gmail.com. We got shirts getting made, hopefully yeah. soon. And more stickers. And some stickers that I'm waiting to get in the mail. Um, been sending out a lot of shit. So, if you guys keep hitting us up, I'll keep sending those stickers and business cards out to you guys. We like Give us a shout out. Give us a shout Tell out. Tell your mom to listen to our show. Tell your mom to listen to us and things like that. Um, as always, follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, at HorrorJunkiesFL. Um, if you're not list- subscribed to the podcast, what are you doing? Subscribe to the podcast. Yeah. Click also, the drop us a fucking review. That's cool. Or, it helps. You know, don't. <laughs> or don't. Or leave a bad review. I don't or care. Do. No matter what you do, it helps people find us, and they get to listen to us and make their own opinions about our show, and that's fun. Um, but I don't think there's anything else. Well, don't say that because Dylan's going to go off again. Anything else? <laughs> Anything else, Dylan? Any last words? No, going? he's done for the day. He's done. He can't. He's he can't at, even. He's at the level of can't even. He's that. going to his trailer right now. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Where's my makeup? <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, like I said, follow us catering? on follow us on our feeds. We like to uh, keep talking to you guys. As always, this has been another hairy, sweaty, and weird episode of the Horror Drugs podcast. podcast. Oh my god, we're getting so good at it, Patrick. Horror As always, podcast. always, guys. I'm Mike. I'm Pat. <laughs> well, I'm that, right. was, that was Dylan. <laughs> he, he literally went up to the microphone and said, "Nah, he can't do it. It's okay. We'll we'll make him smile later on." Why'd you it, have more notes for the shitty movie? <laughs> 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 He's not talking. <laughs> He's still. <done. laughs> All right, guys. As always, stay weird.